Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today our topic is about why Muhammadan they refuse to follow their prophet. Before we start, we have a Muslim who is a very nice comedian. And I noticed that this guy, he disappeared as soon as I go line, online. But as long as I am not there, he is very active in the chat. His name is Muhammad Shalabi. Uh, Muhammad Shalabi is a Muslim and he is doing his best to, you know, to defend his religion. You know, uh, and he quote the Quran for us. But each time he quote the Quran, we find how stupid the Quran is. As an example, Muhammad Shalabi, he said, uh, Allah, he like who does uh, constantly repent. Constantly repent. If we go to the verse, you will see how stupid this verse is. Because if Allah, he loved those who constantly repent, that means he never repented. <laughs> because he keeps saying I, the, in, the, in the next day, Oh Allah, okay, forgive me Allah. Okay, I, for, I repent Allah. And then second day you do it. And the, th the day after you do it, right? So when you say that your God Allah, he said that, you just get, us, get your God busted. Because what kind of God, he love those who keep repenting. Is it a game? Is that a game? So Allah, you know, he like, he quote for us chapter 2, verse number 222. Allah, he like those who keep repenting. Hmm. <laughs> and you know, the funny is, uh, if you read the verses he is quoting for us, you see the Muslim, they don't even quote for you the verses because the verses are very, very funny and very stupid. Look at this. Ask you, they ask you concerning the menstruation. Say that it is an ada, harmful thing for the husband. And then we go and we find Muhammad, he ordering the Muslims to put a sheet between their legs and they rub their penis between their wives. So what he did, nothing. He just told you, don't have sex with them. What, what you do? <laughs> and then if you whatever you do brother Allah he loved those who repent keep repenting constantly repent constantly the verse is about vagina penises menstruation private parts boobies so uh, uh, next time when you quote for us quote something uh, the whole thing so people they can enjoy it brother all right and then he says to you, if you want to know Islam, seek guidance from Allah. But isn't it Allah? He says, are you going to guide the one who Allah is guide? <laughs> seek guidance from Allah. I mean, this is the most stupid religion ever. The Quran says, Allah, he told Muhammad, are you going to guide? The one who Allah misguided, which means the one misguided is misguided by Allah. So how I am misguided by Allah, and then I'm going to seek guidance from Allah. Have you ever heard? Oh, uh, now he's back, guys. He's back. He was not there. He was searching Google. He was not listening. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> hey, Muhammad Sh uh, Shalabi, why you don't call me, my friend? So everybody we can like we can enjoy the conversation with you. So look at this is stupid religion. Allah says to Muhammad, and the funny is, by the way, he did not even say to Muhammad, he says, Don't do you want you see in Arabic is different from English. Like in English, when you say what it says here, uh, are you like you are you going to the de guide those who misguided by Allah? Are you? But in Arabic, it's not for one person. It says a Turidun, which means many. How many Prophet Muhammad is, uh, he, he, he have with him in his time? A Turidun and Tahdu, Man Allah. Are you going to guide? Do you want to guide to group? Like he's, he's saying to group, as if Muhammad is as many uh, prophets. Do you want to guide who him Allah sent astray? Oh boy. So the silly Muhammad Shalabi, he's asking you, if you want to be guided, ask Allah to guide you. 
Then we go to Allah, and Allah He says to Musa to Muhammad Sharabi, Do you want to guide those whom Allah made them go astray? So who is the devil? We have Mr. T. K. Hamza saying, "Add your logic to Christianity, and let us see. Uh, uh, you know, you have nothing to say. Why T. K. Hamza don't call me, my friend? And let us see your logic. It's very funny that Muslims they speak about logic." The religion who believe that if you believe in God, his name is Allah, uh, this God, he is going to give you uh, an endless penis. And then he speak about logic. If you think about it for a second, you will notice that this is, cannot be a reward. This is a penalty. Just to be polite, I'm not going to use the example for a penis. I will use it for a nose. So imagine your nose is endless. How you can live with it? Hmm? I quoted the wrong person. Uh, uh, okay, this guy actually he is saying uh, this is the, from yesterday. Hold on, hold on. This is different, uh, different potato. Where is the the one we just uh, copy his text? Let us see. We took screenshot. Yeah, for some reason, this appear. Maybe this one. Hold on. Yeah, this guy, Hamza. Mr. Hamza. And by the way, if you ask him what Hamza mean, he do not know. They just, you know, copy Arabic names. You have no idea what they are calling themselves. And yeah, by the way, thank you. You know, uh, happy Thanksgiving for everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, your day with your family but remember every day is thanksgiving to god there is no specific day for every day is a gift from god for us to live even when he don't give us we are thankful so we go back to our topic tk hamza i added logic to your christianity uh, and you see you have nothing to say so the person who believe that his god send a dish of shish kebab to his prophet and he gave him the power of 40 men after shish kebab he have logic and the funny is that this religion say that allah if he wanted something to be he said to, to, to it be is going to be but when it's come to muhammad the private part which is not functioning at all have zero horsepower allah he have to send a dish of shish kebab with his angel The one who keeps saying to you, I cannot call you right now, I will be in two hours from now. What does that mean? Stop saying that, otherwise I will block you. It's like saying to you know to your wife, I cannot make you have a baby now. What the heck is that? Stop repeating yourself. If you cannot call, so what the point? And if you are not a Muslim, you are not welcome to you know a Muslims only can call us. So TK Hamza Muhammad Shalabi. Are you willing to call us, my friends, so we can like uh, enrich ourselves with the logic of Muhammadan? Because as I see, you Muslims have the best logic in the world. I mean, who can beat that? A Muslim is speaking about logic. I like it. It is logical that Allah, he guided Alexander the Great and he gave him a guidance and then because of the guidance of the Allah, uh, Zulkarnain, he found where the sun set. He found it setting in murky water. Do you see what the guidance of Allah can do, Mr. Shalabi? Huh? According to the Quran, Allah guided Zulkarnain. Zulkarnain, he followed the guidance of Allah. Hmm? Read with me. Verily we established him in the earth. Who established him? Allah. So everything he have is from Allah. And we gave him the means of everything, which means knowledge, wisdom, intelligence, everything, power, army. He gave him the meaning of everything. And as a result, he followed the way of Allah. 
And as a result, he found where the sun set and he found it sitting in the murky water. I mean, who can beat that? Let us be honest. And then the Muhammadan, in order to escape the humiliation of this stupid cult, they say, oh, this is from his perspective. What perspective? The verse says, Allah, he gave him the meaning of everything. The meaning of understanding, the meaning of uh, knowledge, wisdom, power, army, uh, leadership, everything. Everything. And then in order to avoid the stupidity of the Quran, they claim that, you know, it doesn't say that it's CV. It doesn't say that CV. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim who would like to join us? Did you change the topic? No, we are just speaking about the topic because the Muslims, they deny what their prophet said. As an example, Muhammad, he said, the sun set in murky water, the Muslim, they say, we don't accept the hadith. We did not. This is the Quran and this is the Hadith and both of them in total agreement and even their website says Sahih in chain, which means nothing wrong with this Hadith. What the Hadith is saying that the Prophet says when he was riding his limousine, he, uh, uh, his companion, he asked him, which means Muhammad asked the companion, do you know where this is set? Speaking about what? About the sun. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best, which means Muhammad, they make Allah and Muhammad equal to each other in knowledge. They worship one God of knowledge. He said it's set in a spring of warm water, Hamia. Hamia in Arabic actually mean boiling, not just uh, very hot, not just, uh, you know, muddy or warm. So this is the hadith. And then the second we read the hadith for them, what the Muslim, the Muhammadan, they do, they reject it. I have a link for this video for Sheikh Asim. People who only follow the Quran and rejected the Hadith and Sunnah. I'm not going to play the video for you. You can watch it, but I will give you the cheese of it. Those who reject the Hadith of Allah Muhammad, are they Muslims? Listen carefully. Such people are apostate. Such people are what? are apostate. They are apostate. And now you notice that the Muslims who are very active in the chat before we go live, they are dead. They are not even texting. They are not even chatting. They are in the snowy mood, the hibernate mood. They, they are out of electricity. What happened to the Muslims who they are very active when I was not live? Even their chat is dead. Oh, you did not hear what he said? Sorry. Give me a second. Give me a second. You did not hear what he said, huh? All right. No problem. Don't worry. Be happy. Here we go. So what do you do with such people? Such people are apostates because they... <laughs> did you hear it? Such people, they are apostate. Such people, they are apostate. Did you hear it? And if you want to watch the whole video, you can go. I have a link for it in the info. And the title is Sheikh Asim, peace be, may Allah peace be upon him and give him extra versions in heaven. Who, you know, he's working hard to grow the beard longer. Like first time I saw him in YouTube, his beard was like half of this size, but I think because his knowledge now is growing, so like the beard have to match the knowledge, you know? Uh, so what we do with those people? Apostate. And not only that, in this video he says, well, those who say they want to follow the Quran only, in the Quran nowhere it says you can't have sex with your auntie. Nowhere in the Quran says forbidden for you. So if you want to go to the hadith, that's mean you can have F with, with your auntie.
Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Let us analyze why Muslims, they reject their prophet words. And not only that, they reject even the Quran. Because you see, when you show them the Quran, what they, what they do? They, they corrupt their book and they start adding things to the book, which is as an example here. It says, when entered, when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a spring of black, muddy, hot, boiling water. And he found near it people. What the Muslim they add? They say no. In his perspective, so they have to add a sentence is not there. Fabricating the Quran to justify it. My friend Zakir Naik is not in Qatar, he is here. Zakir, do you want to speak to them? Good thing, Prince. I'm busy and I'm watching the football game. Did you see the Saudi Arabian that did beat the Argentinian? What the heck? You made the victory? In the football, I thought the football is haram. You see, this is one of the funny things about this Muhammadan cult. According to the Quran, according to their prophet, even chess is haram. Music, chess, everything is haram. And what they do, they bring naked women dancing in the stadium and they allowed homosexual, gays, etc., from everybody drinking, dancing in the street. And then they say this is an Islamic state and they support Al Qaeda. Hmm. Uh, let us see. Maybe we have somebody. The only, the only Muslim uh, call us, a Muslim person call us, is a girl. Her name is Fakira. And we, you know, hardly we can find Muslims there. Muslim men, only Fakira call us. What we can do? I mean, Fakira is the best. Forget about the rest. You know, the, the funny uh, Hamza, you know, when the Muslim, he have nothing to say, he switched to talk about Trinity. Hello? Must be Fakira, I'm telling you. Hello, Fakira? Yeah, it's Fakira. Fakira, Fakira. Hamza, as long as you like to talk about the Trinity, I mean, how fast you Muslim you switch the topic in the speed of light. From the sun sitting in murky water, for your prophet he found it sitting in murky water, the prophet riding a donkey, Allah and his messengers know best. And then suddenly we want to talk about the Trinity. Okay, let us talk about the Trinity. I mean, all the garbage in the religion. And now let us talk about the Trinity. Okay, what is that? What do you know about the Trinity? Even your God could not, you know, let us talk about the Trinity in the Quran. Have you ever heard of a God? He do not know what the Christian believe. According to your stupid Allah, he think that we Christian, we worship Mary and Jesus and the husband Allah. So according to your stupid Quran, Allah, he have married, he had got married from Mary and they have a son, his name is Jesus. Is that true, the Quran saying that? And then because Allah is super smart like Fakira, she decided, Allah, to prove that he is the, he, you know, he did not marry from Mary. He did not. Like, what the heck? So what he said, how can Allah have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? But what the heck? Allah, he don't have a girlfriend? I'm so disappointed. Are you sure? Look at this stupid verse. Chapter 6, verse number 101. And by the way, chapter 6 is the chapter of the animals. An'am is animals. How Allah describing himself in the chapter of the animals. Don't ask, don't tell. I mean, the name of the chapter is An'am. Animals. And the chapter is describing that Allah don't have a girlfriend. Hmm. Sound good. Very convincing.
Sami Calvin saying, I seen Imam converting football fans from all around the world. My friend, all of this is a setup and those games will not play with us. It's a show time. I do not need uh, I do not need to spend billions of dollars to convert people from around the world. How many people left Islam this week only live on our channel? I did not even spend a penny. Sitting in my computer, speaking to people around the world and Muslims leaving left or right. So spending a lot of money to bring two or three people to say Shahada, and God knows how much they paid them, and you know, we are talking about Qatar. Here is the real deal. Uh, Siko Miko, he says, uh, CP, you, they take Mary as God, Catholic openly, and do you cause she uh, got this for a Christian? Well, Siko, you are a sick person because I challenge you to find me one Catholic says that Mary is God. This is how and why we cannot trust Muslims speaking about anything. Their God is a liar and they are a liar. Anyone can go right now and check the most uh, official website of the Catholic. The Catholic, they believe in Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You are a fraud like your prophet. You are. Can you find one Muslim is not a Siko? Which is coming from Siko, Sik? Huh? Do we have any Muslim here? He have little dignity and honesty to speak to us. And look how they change the topic in the speed of light. We asked them, why you Muslim don't want to believe in the Hadith? Let us talk about the Trinity. <laughs> why the Quran say the sun set in miracle water? Let us talk about Trinity. Why the Quran says that hail is coming from mountains in heaven? Well, let us talk about Trinity. All right. I'm going to give you opportunity to call me and to talk about the Trinity. Who dare to do it? Just to show you how stupid your logic is. The religion of potatoes. Hmm. Anyone? We have a topic, people. Stop switching. So the Muslims, the Muslims, they run away from believing in their prophet words because obviously their prophet is an idiot. And we just heard the Sheikh of the Muslims, Sheikh Asim, saying it clearly that those who don't believe in the hadith of the prophet they are apostate they are what apostate but here i find it very uh, like a hypocrisy statement from this man aren't you all of you muslims are apostate is tv is halal for you is youtube is halal for you is using by what made by the kuffar is halal for you Do we have any brave Muslim would like to say anything to us? I am a Christian from Indonesia. I debate Indonesian Abdul. So what I can do for you? Sit in the chat and listen. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? May they, may they, may they. The one who denied the hadith is an apostate. And when you call me, you deny even the Quran. And the funny is that this Sheikh himself, he has thousands of videos denying hadith. <laughs> Siko <laughs> saying, are you saying that Catholic don't worship Mary? 
How can Jesus be God if he is born of God and the women? That's a very deep question, Abdul. Yeah, you know, like you see, I'm going to use your logic as you just said. Is that fair, people? I'm going to use your logic. How Jesus is just a man, and yet, according to Quran, Allah, he blow his spirit into Mary vagina. According to your God religion, who is the father of Jesus? I'm using your logic. She, he's born of a woman. Who is the one who made this woman pregnant? Give me the answer. Just, just put the answer in the chat if you are a man. But for sure you are the man, you are a psycho. According to your stupid cult, Allah, he blow his spirit into her vagina. Everyone knows that the one who made a woman bright net, he is the father. <laughs> your logic is broke like your nose, my friend. And I'm not upset that your wife, she is forcing you to wash dishes like Muhammad every day. Muhammad, when he was married to Khadija, he was the one who washed dishes every day. When Khadija, the rich woman, she died, Muhammad, he never washed dishes after that because now he start purchasing dishwasher. Who is a brave Muhammadan? Dare to call us and prove us wrong. Hmm? Do we have any Muhammadan? Muhammad Shalabi, he want my number. What number? Skype. Just give him, give him a Skype. We are posting Skype non-stop. This guy, he keep coming here for the last, I don't know how long, two weeks or one month. And he keep asking, what is your number? What is your number? The same question. You know, what's your number? What's your number? He played dumb, so he will not, like, I, like, I want to call him, man. Like, trust me, I want to call him. But he's not giving me his number. <laughs> and the admin keep posting the ID of Christian Prince in Skype is the following. And they, what is your number? What is your number? Okay, what is your number? They play dumb. To play dumb in Islam is to be intelligent. Do we have any Muhammadan here? They are to call us. Ah, okay. So guys, look at this. Muhammad Chalabi, who keep asking about my number, he found my number in this chapter. Chapter 45, verse number 6. I challenge Muhammad Chalabi to call me and read the chapter for me. And we will see if people will die laughing or not about the same exact chapter he, you know, he, he posts for us. These are God's revelation that we recite to you truthfully, but your God, look, hold on, who is the one is talking? Hey, Muhammadan, who is the one is talking? Any smart Muslim can tell me? Aren't you ashamed of this stupidity is written in the Quran? This is God revelation. So who is talking? If Allah is talking, that is a stupid. If I am the one is talking, how you say this is Allah revelation? A clear proof that the one is talking or making this verse cannot be Allah. Unless Allah is drunk. If I say to you, this is the dish of, uh, uh, this is a sandwich of McDonald, obviously you are met McDonald.
you've been here for one day guys go check the previous videos and see how many times we mentioned the name of this guy he claimed that he is here for one day just do it just one day <laughs> Anyway, one day, one hour. Now you have, you know my Skype. Just call me. Let us see. So look what he gave us. Maybe he gave us this verse so we don't believe in the Hadith. Thank you very much. Now you just say to us that you should not believe in any speech after Allah. So anything Muhammad is saying is a lie. Because the verse you gave us says, then which is speech after Allah and his ayat, which means his uh, Quran, will they believe? So why you believe in Muhammad saying things? Huh? Why you believe in Muhammad saying things? If the Quran is saying to you, according to this verse, which speech you will believe after Allah's speech? Allah is talking? Okay, how Allah is talking saying the speech of Allah? If I am talking, I will say the speech of Christian Prince? I am lost? Okay, let us go and find ourselves a solution. Muhammad Chalabi, he said, you are lost. Brother, do you think somebody took some hair from the anus area and he did the black magic for me the same as they did to your prophet? Was your prophet lost when somebody controlled him by a bunch of hair from his anus? And then Allah, he sent two angels to find the hair location and then they found the hair in a deep well of water and then what they throw it away I mean is that how you destroy magic just move it from place to a place hmm no, no, he is not too scared to call. He is so uh, brave to call. Yeah, the only one is calling us is Fakira. Fakira is the best. Forget about the rest. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us besides Fakira, who changed her gender? Fakira, are you with me? Fakira. Ah, I know, Fakira. The funny is, I call him Fakira, he say, yeah. <laughs> I say, Fakira, are you with me? He said, yeah. <laughs> Officially, he accepted the female name. Not only he called it to himself in Skype, I call him Fakira. I say, Fakira, are you with me? He say, yeah, I wish I have the sound on so you can hear it. Unbelievable. What a stupid idiot. Fakira, are you with me? Yes, I am with you. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> So who is a real Muslim except this guy who, who is confused about his gender? And he said the F word to his prophet and his mother. Do we have any brave Muslim there to call us? Muhammad Shalabi says you are lost. Huh? Your prophet was lost, don't he? Look the Quran saying that. What do you think? Hmm? Allah is moving living creatures. Look at the miracle, guys. Quran chapter 30, 45, verse number 4. 
Allah is the one moving the living creatures. So they are living. What do you mean he's moving them? What about saying, I am the one who moved the dead ones? Revelation of the book from Allah, the Almighty, the All Wise. Allah saying that? Isn't it obvious this is a fabrication of somebody making up things? If Allah is the one is talking, he will not say such a statement. What a stupid religion. And then Allah he decided to give us a verse. Hamim. Who is a Muslim can tell us what those mean? Look, look at the look between two brackets, they say. These letters are one of the miracles of the Quran, and none but Allah alone knows the meaning. Like, what the heck? Scientific discovery. Those are letters in Arabic language exist before Muhammad was born. So how those are miracle of Allah, let me make a miracle, HM, SD, QW. What the heck? This is a miracle? That's deep. That's so deep. Who can beat that? Uh, don't say my name. Let's see. Hello? I'm fine. Are you you? Yes, I hear you. Are you a Muslim? I am an ex-Muslim. Oh, you're an ex-Muslim. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Did you call me before? I called you before, yeah. Oh. I actually called because I have a question, if you don't mind. All right, no problem. Go ahead. So my my uh, brother is very devout and religious, and I asked him the question that I think everyone uh, listening now has. Uh, I asked him why every time we go to the Sahih Bukhari uh, and we find something bad, it happens that it's uh, by it's weak. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said the following, and I want you to uh, tell me what you know about this. All right. He said, uh, Al-Bukhari, his book, is like among the most authenticated, etc., etc. But then he has uh, something called Mu'allakat al-Bukhari, which is uh, kind of like hadith that Al-Bukhari couldn't, uh, like, he did his best, but he couldn't authenticate 100%. So he left them in the book, so the future uh, scholars would look at them and uh, would try to authenticate them. They are called Mu'alaqat al-Bukhari. So I asked him, and uh, like, how can we differentiate between the two, the Sahih and the Mu'alaq? He said the Mu'alaq is, you hear, like in the beginning it says, Balagana, uh, etc., etc., like we heard, Etc. Etc. It doesn't have like a chain of narration. Hmm. So, what do you think of that? Well, my friend, first of all, those are are separated, as I know. Secondly, no. uh, uh, this is why they call them muallaqat because they have they have alone they by themselves they are not in al Bukhari no more, you know, no. or they are you know those are called uh, hadith marfu'ah, you know. No. Yeah. So those are uh, sorry. Uh, 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 it goes uh, up to, to the Prophet, Marfu'a ila Nabi. So they, it goes all the way to the Prophet. And uh, if, yeah. if the Muslims, uh, if Al-Bukhari himself, who is the biggest scholar, he could not deny them, yet, but yet he could not approve them 100%. That changed nothing except that those are hadith is exist, and none of them can deny it. Same yeah, time. Uh, same time. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end the call because I'm getting to the bus. But I'll keep listening to you. All right. Okay. okay. I, I want the noise to like uh, the other people. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have so, a good day. Yeah. You too. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, 
they're claiming that there is hadith from Al Bukhari, but they are they are not in Al Bukhari no more. Those are those are not Bukhari no more. Those in the beginning, they, they have he have a section. He said that those are uh, are not confirmed like a, a billion time percent, but we cannot deny them. Uh, like as an example, there's a hadith in a, in, a, in a, uh, from those hadith. Let me see if I can find it in the one is published in the internet in the website. Give me a second. <clears throat> we will see if we can find this one. You will notice that even the one, uh, like let's see if we can find it here. I'm not sure of this one. Yeah, I think this is a different one. Yeah. So anyway, it's not exist. You know, we cannot find it in Al Bukhari no more. The hadith I'm trying to find is not there. So uh, uh, a hadith which is not is considered from the muallaqat usually is taken off. However, uh, 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 I will help your brother to give you a different answer because maybe your brother he do not know even Al Bukhari never exists as a book. There's no book. It's called Al Bukhari. The Muslim they call Al Bukhari as a book, but in fact. He never ever had a book. So what is this in the front of us? Those are claim from students of students of students of Al Bukhari claiming that Al Bukhari he said this. Now who in the world can believe that a student can remember word by word what a person said? A teacher said. That is impossible, especially the book was not written in his time. So Al-Bukhari, same as Muslim, are not exist. There's no book, it's called Sahih Muslim. There's no book, it's called Sahih Al-Bukhari. This is additional Muslim Sunni fantasy. And now they worship them and they follow them more than what they should follow. Because simply Muhammad, he left nothing. Nothing is trustworthy. However, if we go and take the most authentic hadith, is your brother going to accept it? He will not. The most agreed upon, as an example, where the sun set, This hadith, and actually I have some Muslims, funny Muslims, who they decide to refute me, and they said, yes, yes, this is the Prophet, the authentic hadith of the Prophet. They refuted you in this hadith. This is the hadith. According to Muhammad, the sun goes every day in a fixed course. Every day run from the east to the west and sit under the throne of Allah. This is an extreme authentic hadith. This is not of those hadith your brother he mentioned. This is the core of the hadith. And this is mentioned in Al-Bukhari. And this is mentioned in other books. So where the sun goes every day? goes from the east to the west to sit under the throne of Allah and then ask Allah permission. To come back again. And Muhammad was explaining. Chapter 36, verse number 
This is another very extremely authentic hadith. Do you know where the sun goes? They replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. The unholy prophet, he says, verily the sun glitz till it's reached the resting place under the throne. Then it falls prostrate and remain there until it's asked, rise up and go to the place where whence you came from. So this is the most authentic, but the most authentic prove Muhammad to be false prophet. So if I go with this, uh, with the, or I think this uh, this gentleman he called us before and he left Islam life on air. Uh, but look at this. They they find a way to escape Al Bukhari by saying there is some hadith of Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari himself he says he cannot, you know, he can he cannot prove to be authentic. But those are not in Al Bukhari no more. This is why they are in different section. This is why they, even they have different name. Now we are talking about hadith which authentic according to all Muslims can they escape it how you can escape this this is the authentic one TK Hamza saying CP is ignoring my friend you are just a kid I mean, if you are a man, just call me. Huh? Mr. Hamza, if you call me, nobody can ignore you, my friend. Everybody here will hear your voice. And they will hear your knowledge, which is astonishing. Mr. Hamza, do the sun goes every day from point A to point B? Huh? Does it? Or your prophet is fabricating an additional lie? Who is a brave Muslim can agree with his prophet explain the Quran where the Quran says and the sun run its, its own course? Anyone? Hey, Patrick, uh, uh, my friend, I might block you because you're asking the same question 1,000 times, my friend. Did we finish the topic, Patrick, my friend? You see, guys, I said, when we have a topic, I said, people, they send me a message in Patreon saying, can you talk about this? Okay. But we have a topic. Let me finish the topic and then ask me the question. I say, okay, guys, who have a question? Then you can give me the question. But you didn't, don't you see we are speaking to the Muslims? I mean, is your question is a dead or life now? Do we need to take somebody to the uh, like a, a special care unit? Your question have to be answered immediately. Just think and don't be selfish. Everybody have a question. If we have a topic. We finish. We say who have a question. Then nobody asks, uh, you know, ask the, uh, any question. TK Hamza saying, CP is scared to debate in public. My friend, if I'm debating behind the computer and you are doing poo poo on your pants, who is in public will show up? If I am in the computer and yet you don't dare to call me, are you going to come and debate me in public? And somebody told you that this is not public? People around the world listening. What public? You want me to go to the street to do what? People will laugh at me. Start talking to me about Muhammad. Going after people, bothering them. Hey, guys, do what do you think to talk about Islam? Here we go. People who like to hear the topic, they come. I'm not harassing people in the street, going after them. What do you want me to go in front of the mosque and say, hey, Abdul, come here. Abdul, come here, come here. You're a prophet. He said the sun set in murky water. Hello. The Muslim, they will say he's harassing us. We know you. You cry for causing you miscarriage even though you don't have a baby. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? 
Anyone? And when we call the one you call them the hero, like Mimi Hijab, he hang up on me seven times. He did not let me ask, ask any question. <laughs> did you say that? Yes, I was caught in your faith, the prophet. Hang up on him. Bastard, bastard. <laughs> did you say that? <laughs> when I called Mimi Hijab, he wanna he wanna examine how good my reading for the Quran. Can you read this verse for me? <laughs> It's an Arabic quiz now. <laughs> what a potato. He was he was very much intimidated to the point he had like six, seven Muslims around him. Who is a brave Muslim there to call me and speak to me? Anyone besides Fakira? The only brave one is Fakir. What we can say? Hello? Hello? Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. I saw your camera. You look good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay, my friend. So what do you want to say to us? Nothing. I'm here. So uh, are you calling to answer about something? What is it? What why are you calling for? What what the purpose of call? You told me to call you. Oh, okay. This is your Muhammad Chalabi, huh? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, your beard is very nice, man. So as long as you are calling, that's wonderful, my friend. So what do you think about what I said? You can say whatever you want, brother. It's not up to you. Know, so why you are calling me if I can say whatever I want? I can see now you are smoking shisha. Oh, yeah, brother. But I thought shisha is haram. Where does it say it's haram in the Quran? Oh, so shisha is not haram in the Quran. I'm asking you, where does it say it's haram in the Quran? Uh, okay, so it's not haram to drink shisha, to smoke shisha. I'm asking you, where does it say I it's have tons haram? of videos of Muslims, sheikhs, saying that smoking is haram. I don't care about those Muslims. I am asking Ah, okay, what about, what about drinking whiskey? That's haram. All right, you just say to me, if it's not in the Quran, we will. Uh, it's not haram. Then, where in the Quran it says that smoking hashish or taking drugs is haram? I'm asking you, where does it say it's haram? So it is. It is for, for okay. So I'm asking you. Shisha. Okay, so you are saying to me now, it's okay to take hashish. Hmm. Right. Only Allah knows. A second ago, he says to me, "You challenged me." You said, "Show me where it says haram in the Quran," and now you are saying to me, "Only Allah knows." Well, you lost your courage to answer? What happened? I'm here. Why well, you don't want to answer? You are the one who gave me the excuse. You said to me, show me where in the Quran it says that smoking is haram and hashish is a kind of a smoke. So I'm asking you now, is smoking hashish is haram or halal? I don't know. A second ago, you said you do. You said to um, me, show you me. Said that, you said the I, I said, I said, I said, I said it is haram. I said it's haram. You said to me, show me. That's mean you don't believe it's haram. And that's why you practice it, correct? What happened? You have heart attack in the first few seconds of calling me? No, I'm here, man. So give me the answer. So smoking hashish is halal. I can only what I know, brother. My friend, I understand. I can't answer something no, I don't no, know. No, no, you know, because you are the one who challenged me, saying to me, show me where in I, the Quran it says it's haram. And now... I am here because you spew lies about Islam in the Quran. Okay, no problem. But let us, uh, let us finish this one, and we will talk about the lies about Islam I said. I promise you. So are you, are you saying to me, if something is not mentioned in the Quran, you must tell me you can practice it? If something is not mentioned in the Quran, what? Mm -hmm. Say it again. You just said, show me where it says that in the Quran. So you are saying to me, if something is not mentioned in the Quran, then you can do it. If you can't haram something that's not that's not mentioned. Haram, haram, gambling, liquor. All right. Is it 
is it forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter from adultery? Yeah, so you can't have sex with your daughter. It's forbidden. It's in the Quran. Okay, but adultery. I said daughter <coughs> from adultery. What is it? I said daughter from adultery. I don't know what you mean. I, that's a daughter from adultery. A Muslim, he have a girlfriend, and he. You can't have a girl. You can't. You can't have a girl. No problem. You cannot have a girlfriend. But we will go you for know, that. But we will should, go for that later. You but, can do for what okay, you want. But there's a Muslim. You he should, have a you girlfriend. You get married as a friend. Muslim. He have you a complete half your deen. No, you, you don't married. have to be married. This is a lie. We can show you tons of verses in the Quran. You don't have to be married to sleep with women. That's not true. You don't have to be married to sleep with women. But let us go first. A Muslim guy, he have a girlfriend, and he step with her, and then she have a daughter from him. Can he sleep with the daughter too? A Muslim guy, he have a girlfriend. I don't. This is, this is something I don't know. I can't answer that. Okay, so I'm I'm really. You see, in the chat, you were very active. Uh, it, yes, it, of course, because okay, I, but, I but, don't but, like but, what you say. But that's, but, but that's mean you don't know because simply you, when you were posting in the chat, and I like you to defend your religion, I'm not against that. But when you are so active in the chat, giving us verses after verses, and then the second you call me, you have because no idea what to I say. all I can speak is the word of Allah, brother. I can't give you my perspective. I can't say okay. something that can you show me? Can you show me enough. from the Quran where it says, you. okay, can you show me from the Quran where it says it's forbidden for you to marry your auntie? Like the like the sister of your mother? Yeah, I have to Google it. Hey, Google it. Go ahead. I'm I'm, I'm it, You see, you are, you are very good in using the computer. I can't tell. Google it. Let me see. Okay, one second. Okay. What's your question, brother? What is it forbidden in the Quran for you as a Muslim to have a sexual relationship by marrying her at least? To someone, she is the sister of your mother or the sister of your father. What are you think? allowed? Are you allowed to have sex, as an example, or to marry uh, the 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 auntie of your uh, wife? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Say it again. Are you forbidden to what? To marry the auntie of your wife, like your wife. She have an auntie, the sister of her mother. Can you sleep with your wife and her mother? Brother, as you know, uh -huh. I'm a servant of Allah, and I seek knowledge in Allah, and I go to the Quran. So no so problem, I'm asking do. you, I'm asking you, my friend. Amen. You seek knowledge from Allah, you go to the Quran, the Quran in front of you, give me the answer. Inshallah, one second. Okay, so ask your question again, please. <laughs> My friend, what's happening? How many times? Brother, I, not... I am not. I am not a scholar. I am not a preacher. I'm not saying you are, problem. but you are asking me to, to, you know, to keep repeating the same question. Yes. Okay. Why? Why I have to but repeat? But first, the same? you didn't answer my question about the forty-five six, the one that I kept sending you before about the hadith. Okay. You know you what? Keep... I will, keep referring. I will give you a but scheme. No, no, I'm going to answer this question first. Let me, let me. Oh, let you want to answer it? Okay, go ahead. Okay. What's your question? <laughs> let, I, I want to ask you your question Allah, first. But what's your question? You, okay. My may question Allah is, you. my question is, you have, you get married. You get married. And now your wife, she have a sister of her mother. She is pretty. Can you marry the sister of your wife, auntie? The, sorry, the, the the auntie of your wife, which is your which is your auntie. Forbidden to you. Okay, wait one second. I just want to make sure which verse is it. Surah An Nisa, four twenty three. Uh -huh. Forbidden to you, for marriage are your mother's, your daughter's, your sister's, your father's sister, your uh -huh. mother's sister, okay. your brother's daughter, your sister's daughter. Okay. Your foster, your foster mothers who uh -huh. gave you such. Right. Your foster milk suckling sisters, right. your wife's mother, your stepdads, your stepdaughters, under your guardianship, born of your wives to whom you have gone in. But right. There is no sin on you if you have not gone in them Wonderful. to marry the to marry their daughters. Okay. What well, so, was so? So what is the answer now? Bring from you, can you marry from your loins and two sisters in wedlocks 
at the same time, except for what has already passed, barely, Allah is also given All right. most merciful. So, so can, you, can, you, can you marry this, the, the auntie of your wife? I just gave you the... the the, so give me the answer. The can you marry? You got you got me the verse. No problem. Can you marry the auntie of your wife? The auntie of your wife? Yeah, which is your auntie because when you marry, you became the son of the law and in law, right, or the family? The the aunt of your wife? Yes. Can you marry her? Your mother's, your daughters, your sisters, your father's sister, your mother's, your mother's sisters. Yeah, your Those mother's are forbidden for you. Your mother's sisters are forbidden for you, right there in the Quran, brother. Okay, so it's uh, your mother's sisters. Uh, they cannot marry for you uh, from from you, right? No. Okay. So how Muhammad he married from a woman? She is his auntie, or she offered herself to sleep with him. Where did you hear this? Let us go to the hadith. Do you accept the hadith? No, or don't you go to the hadith, brother. I Why gave not? you forty-five six. <laughs> I gave you 45 from the Quran. Why are you going to the hadith? See, you, yeah, you, I, mean, you, I just you took you the to trap. Look, you took the trap, and now you are trying to scare the trap. Brother, so, I am not trapped. How so, am I okay, trapped, but brother? how how you're a prophet? Brother, how you're a prophet? He's a prophet, brother. and he gave you a Quran, and you say you Muslim, we follow the Quran, and then we will yes, see. Yes, we follow the Quran. Okay, exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. What? But how many Muslims don't follow the Quran? Yeah, but actually, even the verse you gave me, by the way, the answer you gave me is very funny. It says in the front of us, your mother, sister. Forbidden, yes. Yeah, but I'm asking you about the sister of your wife, mother. <laughs> Not your. Brother, I just, I just gave you what it is. You told me. No, what it but is you see, I, I ask you, I ask you, I ask you. Can your wife, can your wife, your wife, who have an aunt, an aunt, can she marry to you? You said to me you will give me a verse from the Quran. The one here in front of us says I you just give you the verse, brother. Okay, so you can I have so, in, so in Islam, as long as long you are brother, saying to me, you, you follow you only referring. you follow only what is in the Quran. The Quran never says you cannot have sexual relationship with the aunt of your of your sister. Correct. Okay, brother. What? Forty-five, forty-five, six. These are God's revelation that we recite to you truthfully. In which hadith other than God and his revelation do they believe? All right. Why you need to follow Sahih Bukhari or Sahih Muslim or anything else? Well, I just follow showed you. I just showed you. I'm, I'm telling I you. I just showed I'm you. Brother, uh, I, just, I just showed you. All your followers. Okay, I just and all your you. followers. No problem. Read the words I of Allah. I just Quran. showed you. I just showed you that your uh, Sheikh Asim, he says, those who don't accept the, Quran, the hadith are apostate. Is he lying? Who said that? Sheikh Asim. He said, those who don't accept the hadith, they are apostate. And this is the video here the in front of us. The hadith of Allah, you're supposed to accept the hadith of the Allah. The hadith of the Prophet, those who don't accept, those who ex uh, uh, reject the hadith of the Prophet, they are apostate. Brother, this is what happened to your books, the Gospel, the Injil, the uh -huh. Torah. Uh -huh. They've been they've been misled. They've been they've been corrupted. Okay. The so, Quran has never so, been tainted, brother. It is the word of Allah. All right. So is the, is the Torah corrupted? Yes. So why your prophet he take an oath in it? No, the Torah now is corrupted. The one now, the books you have. But, but this the, is the but, but so are you saying that are you saying the Torah? Moses. And, are you the, saying the actual? Okay. Are you saying the Torah in the time of Muhammad was not corrupted and the and the gospel they were not corrupted at that time? No, the Quran was never corrupted. And at the time no, of this is not the question. This is not the question. Corrupted. This is not a question. At, at the time, are you, listen carefully. Are you saying the Torah and the gospel in the time of Muhammad they were not corrupted? They were not corrupted. Yeah. Say, all oh, you believers, we are believing God and what was sent down this to us. Question. And what you, was you sent are, down you are reciting to Abraham, me Ismail, Isaac, Jacob, this is not the question. and the tribes. And you, what I, I, to I Moses say to you, and Jesus I say to and you, all the prophets I say, the I say to we you, we make no distinction between any of them and we devote ourselves to him. My friend, I say to you, why you're a prophet, he took an oath on the Torah if it's corrupted. You said to me, that at that time it was not corrupted. Did you say that or I'm making things up? At that time they were following the teachings of Jacob. Okay. Moza, so at Isa, that time, Ruth. so at the and time of people, Muhammad, if they don't if they don't follow, they don't follow. My friend, this is not the question. Allah God, whom, this whom is not the will. question. This is not the question. Why you're a prophet? Let me repeat again. Why you're a prophet, he took an oath on the Torah if you don't, if the Torah is corrupted. Show me where. Here we go. Which, which ayah from the Quran? 
It's not the Quran. This is Hadith. Uh, see, you're giving me Hadith again. When so, I give you so this, you are saying when to I me, give you this from the Quran, so you are I saying to me, cents. okay. So are you are you are you are you a Quran only? Are you a Quran other than God? Are you a Quran? Are you a Quran only? I follow the Quran. Yes. You don't you don't follow the Hadith. No. Okay. I follow so, the Hadith of Rasulullah. Right. But in the Quran, it says you, you can. can the Quran it says in chapter four, verse twenty-four, you can do muta. Do you do muta? Well, give me the chapter, please. Chapter four, verse twenty-four. <clears throat> My phone is slow, so you have to wait. No problem. Chapter four, verse what? Twenty-four. And he said. And oh, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you because you know you made me go back to my dean a little bit. That's good. And you and yeah. and, you, and you are smoking more argila now. Mashallah. Yes. Okay. And all married women are forbidden unto you. Save those captives. You say, remember, you said to me, hands. you said to me that in Islam you have to marry a woman to have sex with her. Here we go. It says no. It I says didn't say that. It say no. You said you said a Muslim man he cannot have a girlfriend. Okay, I'm I'm gonna start only quoting from Quran. Don't mm. take my words. I may be wrong in some things. That's uh, okay. why I'm gonna quote Quran. Uh, okay, so you can have a girlfriend in Islam. All right. I don't have a girlfriend, brother. But you cannot, baby. Cool. Maybe maybe don't very really like it, like you. Maybe you are ugly like me. Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, you, maybe yeah. you're right. Okay, and so now married women and married women, married women, except those who they are right for process. So you can even have sex with married can women. Can I read it, brother? Go ahead. And all married women are forbidden unto you. Save those captives whom your right hand possesses. It is the decree of Allah for you. Lawful unto you are all beyond those mentions, so that ye seek them with your wealth and honest with luck, not debauchery. Mm -hmm. And those of whom ye seek content by marrying them, give unto them portions as a duty. And there is no sin for you in what ye do by mutual agreement after the duty. Mm. Have been done. Lo, Allah is ever knower wise. Mm. So you do muta. Do you practice muta? You go to a woman, you ask her to sleep with you for ten dollars. No. With the all Quran saying, are, you give her a gift. All married women are forbidden unto you, except except those captives whom your right hand possesses. Okay, so you could nab women who they are married, and you can rape them. This is number one. Number two. Where does it say you could rape them? They are married women. Okay, how you how you have sex with married women? You tell me. They are married. They will let you marry. They will let you sleep with them. Are you married then? No. It just says, and all married women are forbidden, except those who are captives. Exactly. Your right hand the captive is what is the one you kidnapped. So you kidnap the women. One? The women you kidnap, you rape them, and you make them your sex slaves. Now we continue. It says here, it is a decree and of those Allah. who you seek it, with uh, them, look, read and look the next ayah. And who is not able to afford Mary, hmm. free believing woman? Look, brother, you contradict. And who, who is not able? The next ayah, twenty five. And who uh -huh. is not able to afford to marry free? What is the word? Woman, what is the let word? them marry from the believing maids. Okay, hold on. Right what is this? what is the word Mary, in the verse? It's right there. No, twenty five. Yes. No, it and says young. Not able it, it says to young, afford to marry free. You it have says to, young brother, you, you, brother, you are cherry picking. You said yen, yenka, yenka. You said the word you yenka. Do you say the word you yenka? yenka. The Quran. Is the word yenka mean marriage? When did I say yenka? It says here in front of you in Arabic. One woman lam yastata' minkum. Yeah, brother, I don't read Arabic very well. No problem, so my I, uh, friend. No problem. So the translation is false. So is this is not about Mary. Secondly, where the, nothing secondly, in the Quran is false. Why brother? you Muslims have where a believing woman? Hold nothing on. In the Quran is why false. you Muslims have a believing woman? She is a slave for you. Believing woman and she is a slave for you? How how she become a slave for you? She is a believing woman. Must have been during times of war. I don't know, brother. So Let's you Muslims, see. you attack each other and you take women Muslim as a slaves too? Let's see why. 
Muslim women slaves. And then let's see. I'm going to check the Quran. Hmm. I find it very funny. You are saying to me, you are going to check the Quran, but we are reading the Quran. I am in the Quran. We are reading the Quran. This is the Quran. Yeah, but the, the Quran is. Yeah, let us, let us hours, go back. You are, you are jumping from here, by the way. I said to you, we came here I'm because jumping. I'm asking you, are you going to do muta? Here in this verse, it says, you can do nikah to a woman by exchanging gift with her. Exchanging what? Money. And this is, it's called temporary marriage according to Muslims. And don't tell me you never heard of it. People will laugh. So do you practice temporary marriage, which is nothing but a prostitution? One second, brother. The, the Quran prescribes kind treatment of slaves. Verse 4, 36, and said, calls for good treatment to slaves. The call them believers. My friend, focus with me. I'm asking you. Do you still yeah. practice muta'a marriage? Chapter I'm 4, verse number 24. Muta'a marriage is, a, is not a marriage. It's a prostitution. A Muslim man, he asks a Muslim woman to sleep with him in return or exchange of money for a certain period of time so like i say you agree with the muslim women to sleep with you for two hours you ask her how much you charge she say ten dollars that according to you muslims is a muta'a marriage so do you practice that Do not marry polyistic women until they believe for a believing slave woman is better than a free polyist even though she may look pleasant to you and do not marry your women to polyistic men until they believe for a believing slave man is better than a free polyist even though even though he may look pleasant to you they invite you to the fire while allah invites you to paradise and forgiveness by his grace he makes his revelation clear to the people so perhaps they would be mindful okay what verse you are reading for me now 222 Okay, are you are you sure you want to? Okay, are you sure you want to read this verse? Yeah. I okay, read so, it. so as long this verse is saying that if you marry a woman, she is not a Muslim, she will take you to hell. This is what this is what the verse is saying, right? It says, "Do not marry polyistic women." Exactly. They believe. Why? 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 Doesn't matter why. No, no, no. Tell Quran. me, tell me what the verse is saying. Why? You don't. It doesn't matter what the Quran is saying. Now you are saying to me. No. Okay. I say so I'm asking you according these to the are Quran, the words of Allah. I'm asking you according to Allah words. Why you should not marry a polytheist woman? It says it right here. Do not marry polytheistic women until they believe. Okay. For a believing slave woman is better than a free polytheist. It okay. says it right there. Okay. Because even though she may look pleasant to you, and do not marry your women to polytheistic men until they believe. For a believing slave man is better than a free polytheist, even because. though. He may look pleasant to you because they invite you to the fire while Allah invites exactly. you. Exactly. So, so look what you just did. Grace. You look what you just did. You just said that you cannot marry a woman unless she is a Muslim, correct? Do not marry a polystic woman until they believe, yes. Okay, because if you marry a polystic woman, you will go to hell, correct? They invite they invite you to fire. They didn't say they invite you to fire. While they, Allah they invites you to paradise. Okay. So but they will that's he, mean, he said they invite you. That means the women they invite you to fire. Okay. But Allah he invites you to paradise. Okay, so so they are inviting you to, to do shit to worship shaitan, right? 
they invite you to fire. That's what it okay. Says. So, are you allowed to marry non-believing women? Yes or no? It says do not marry polytheistic women. So, are you allowed? I'm, I'm repeating the question. Are you allowed to marry non-Muslim women, like Christian women or Jewish women? Yes or no? It says do not marry. Polyester so how your prophet he have women that are not Muslim woman is better than how a your prophet even though how your prophet he married non-Muslim women. What are you talking about? Well, is Safiya a Muslim woman? What are you talking about, brother? What are you talking about? She's a Jew. You just bring in stuff, brother. What are you talking about? Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> what I'm talking about. You're a prophet, half of his wives, none of them is Muslims. He kidnapped them, he killed their husbands, he killed their families. In the same what time, the in the same is. time, you know, the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find you a contradiction in it. You are, you are spreading false. Hold on. Isn't it the Quran I'm says? Gonna... I, I can show you the reference. What's her name? Sophia. What's her name? Sophia. She was a Jew. Is it in Quran or Hadith you're talking about? Because I said Quran. Okay, so but uh, who, you bring in the hadith. Okay, if I asked you, I, you are a person who yeah. believe in the Quran only, correct? Is that correct? It's the word of Allah. That's okay, I, I'm asking you, do you believe only in the Quran? Yes. Okay, what is the father of Muhammad? Who is it? Who is the father of Muhammad? What happened? Um, I'm here, brother. Okay. What, who is the father of Muhammad? Is it hard? No, it's not. One second, brother. Who is the wife of Muhammad? Can you name some of them for me? Aisha. You just said you believe only in the Quran. Where do you get the name Aisha from? Good point. Let's see. That's a good point, brother. Remember, you said you believe only in the Quran. I believe in, of course, the Muhammad. Okay, so how you get the name of Aisha from where? There's nowhere in the Quran says Aisha. Let's see. What do you mean? Let's see. Are you searching now the Quran to see if Aisha is there? I'm telling you, it's not there. You're good, man. You're good. God is good, my friend. Not me. Only God is good. So, no, so you're good, but you are uh, you are misguided, brother. My friend, you, you oh. try to uh, put falsehood with truth. Okay, so let us go. Abdul, listen. No you are go, the one who go. said to me. You are the one who let's said to go, me. Brother. Let's go, My friend, you are the one who said to me that you cannot marry a non-believing woman. What if I find you a verse in the Quran saying you can marry you can marry a non-believing woman? I didn't say that. I said I read what is in the ayah. Yeah, I ask you, can you marry? Can you marry non-believing women? You said no. I didn't say no. The Quran says no. I said they lead you to fire. That's what the Quran it says. says. The Quran says no. It says do not marry. Exactly. So the Quran says, says no. It doesn't say you can't. So the, okay. So the Quran, says, do does the Quran says if your Quran says don't marry, do you marry or you don't marry? You don't marry. Do exactly. Not. So how come the Quran in different verse says you can marry them? And then do you look at the verse after what it says. What a verse after what can say? You have to read the whole Quran. You cherry My friend, I will read, what's wrong with this religion? You have to read the whole Quran. No problem. Does the Quran say you can marry women who they are not Muslims? They don't believe. Does the Quran say so?
Where are you from? Uh-huh. No, you you speak Arabic. Where are you from? From Afghanistan. Who care? <laughs> yeah. Really? My friend, no, I'm not. I'm joking with you. But I'm asking you now. Why you why you are what happened? What kind of a book? It says in one place, in one page, you cannot marry non-Muslims. In other page, it says uh, you can marry non-Muslims. Uh, you are very smart, man. How you try to misinterpret people and mislead? I'm them. just doing nothing. You know, you, know, you are. You, I'm just you using. Are, uh, I'm yeah. I'm are, just. I'm are, just you using corrupt, my friend. You put falsehood with truth. I'm. I'm just using your Quran. What say you? Keep talking with you talking while I'm on here. Huh? Keep talking while I seek for knowledge in the Quran. You are seeking knowledge in the Quran now? Of course, it's the word of Allah. But you, but Allah is not giving you any knowledge. Okay, yeah, you know what? Like, I'm not going knowledge. to ask Allah you. You know what? I will, I will give you a relief. Thank you so much for me getting back on my deen too, by the way. Hey, my brother. friend, I make you get back to the hashish too. So listen carefully. I will give you a relief. Can you give me something in the Quran, proof that Allah is God? Yeah. I will change the whole topic just for your sake, uh, uh, Muhammad. You know, just for your sake, just to help you. Give me something in the Quran, prove that Allah is God. Go ahead. Okay. I had it somewhere here. Hold up. It's in my notes, maybe. Uh -huh. What's your question? Give me any proof from the Quran that the Quran is made by God. Anything. Oh, that God. the Quran is, oh, that's easy. That's easy, okay. It's good to cough. It help. Chapter five, verse number five says you can marry Christian women. The other verse you gave me it says you cannot marry Christian women. Very funny Quran. Because God He changes mind every two days. God does as He wills. God does not what? God does as He wills. As He wills. As He wills. Well, but this God is very weird. I mean, He say, like you know, as an example. I don't you don't know why God does what He does. Uh, your God does nothing. This is the problem. This is Muhammad, obviously. He says something, he regrets saying it. Second day, he changes his mind. Otherwise, if God, he said, this is my law, this is my law. I mean, how fast? If, if the change happened after 10 centuries, I would say, okay, because that is time, and now is different time. You know, people, they are changing. Situation changing. But uh, in the same week, you know, like your God, as an example, says, in the case of murder, you kill free for the free, slave for a slave, women for the women. Then the, the, not, then the people, uh, they start laughing at this uh, at, at this justice. You know, what do you mean, um, women for the women, free for the free, slave for the slave? So I kill your black slave, you kill my black slave now? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a nose for a nose. What? Okay, no, guys, nose for a nose. So if I cut your nose, why cutting you my wife's nose? I cut your nose. You see, the law cut, of Musa. If you the cut law, my nose, I cut the, your the, nose. The law, the law of Musa is eye for an eye. But you don't take the wife eye. If I no, take you, your, if I take, if I take your eye, you take my eye. Exactly, but, uh, I take exactly. Your but your prophet is teaching false teaching. He's saying. Where does I, it say that in the Quran? Chapter two, verse one seventy-eight. Show me chapter two, one seventy-eight. Nose for nose, 
believe in retribution is prescribed for you uh-huh. in cases of killing. If a uh, oh, wait, one second. Mm. 177 or 178? 178. Okay, let me just read 177 first. Uh-huh. Righteousness does not consist in turning your face mm-hmm. towards the east or towards the west. I love this one. You love righteousness hold on, you, hold, on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on you love this one prophet. you love this one did you say you love this one did you just say you love this one yes so why allah he order you to pray in toward the kaaba if it doesn't matter righteousness doesn't matter why you do hajj doesn't matter like we're saying it doesn't it's matter about righteousness yeah Sorry. righteousness the most okay, can, can a, i read this? an act can of worship my friend an act of worship in islam is to go and do hajj it's a must as a ritual if you can afford it. So as long the verse here is saying, it doesn't matter if you pray in direction of the east or the west. It doesn't matter where you go. It's what, it, what, what count speaking. is can, righteous. Can I read the ayah? Yeah, the but, but, but there's different Brother, places where it the says ayah? the opposite. You have Brother, to face the, the ayah and then, go, and then go to 178. Okay, okay go, go. It's go. 177 and oh, 178. No go, okay. If okay. you want to read it, you could read it. No, it's okay. Mind. I will take a nap. Take go ahead. Righteousness does not consist and turning your face towards the east or towards the rest, west. True righteousness consists in believing Allah and the last day, the angel, the books, and the prophets. This is talking about righteousness and giving a, and giving away charity, one's property in love of him, to on thee, what the, the orphans, the poor, and the wayfarer, and to those who ask for help, mm-hmm. and then freeing the necks of slaves. And look, we free slaves, and then free in the next of slaves, but, but, and then establish but, but they are slaves because you capture them. The zakat. My, my friend, hold on. You see your prophet. You're a prophet. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop with the slaves. Stop with the slaves. Made it, and by those who stop remain stop with the adversity stop with the slaves. Stop. 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 And, stop. and that at the time hold of on. battle. Do you know? Okay. Did your prophet free his slave? Did your prophet free his slaves? Did your prophet free his slaves? There's a famous slave, his name is Bilal. Muhammad died and is still he is a slave. So if Muhammad saying to you, in order to forgive your sin, do this and this and this, and one of them is freeing your slave, and actually that Muhammad was he's doing, because when you free a slave, still you have to buy a slave. So you free a slave, you, you buy another one. So he is increasing the, 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 the demand for slavery. He never forbid the slavery. He is increasing it, like you say, you have to slaughter a chicken. Well, so now, what do you do? Allah. You have to buy a chicken. Sayyidina Muhammad. So, fo- okay, focus with me. Focus with me. Focus with me. Chapter two, verse one seventy-eight. It says, "Free for a free, slave for a slave, female for the female." So, a man he killed your wife. According to the Quran, you kill his wife. Is that justice? One second. Sent it our friend Muhammad here. Read it and think about it. Don't forget to subscribe. There it you, is. Okay, look, look, not look. Yet. I'm here, brother. Don't worry. Five, okay. 532. That is why we ordained for the children of Israel that whoever takes a life, unless as punishment for murder or mischief in the land, it will be as if they killed all of humanity. And whoever saves a life, it will be as if they saved all of humanity. Hmm. Although our messengers already... Hmm. See? So, let's see. Your prophet is quoting the Old Testament. No, this is not all. This is Surah Al Baqarah. I know, I know, but this is from the old. Even there, it says we, uh, all we the assign. Books are the same. My Brother, friend, no, you know, no, 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 no. Okay. Yes. So look what what Brother, the what what God he said. Hey, okay, look, man, look, man, look, man, look, man. Look, look, if look, a man, look, 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 if look, a man look. killed <laughs> a man, huh? Go ahead. Brother, okay. Sorry. So go ahead. If a man killed a man, as if he killed all mankind, this is wasn't command to who? It says people of Musa, correct? Yeah. All right. This is the law of the Jews. Your prophet is quoting the Old Testament. But now we have a chapter 2, verse 178. Okay, wait. It let says, me go back to that. Hold up. If a chapter, man chapter, he killed a woman, two, verse 178. we kill a woman. Chapter 2. Uh. Sorry, one second. 
verse 178. Thank you. Thank you because you're uh, helping me in my deen. Uh -huh. May Allah guide you and all your followers. We will see. You, Allah cannot even guide you. How you can guide me? He failed with the Muslims. The Muslims will come back, brother. Islam came as a stranger, left us as a stranger, and they will come back as a stranger. Exactly. So Islam is shrinking, dying. They will come back as a stranger. We come back as stranger. That means Islam is dead. Even your prophet described Islam as a snake. He said your Islam will come back like a snake going inside her her hole. And where is the okay, hole in Mecca? Wait. Chapter two, verse one seventy-eight. All you who have believed, hmm. prescribed to you is legal retribution for those murdered, the free for the free, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. Hmm. But whoever overlooks from his brother anything, then there should be a suitable follow-up and payment to him. Payment, payment, brother, right there, uh -huh. right there, with good conduct. That yeah. is an elevation from your Lord and a mercy. Okay. But whoever transgresses after that will have a painful punishment. Brother, oh. Allah does not like to transgress. Okay, let us okay, okay. So okay. Let us focus first. Let us focus first. Let us focus now. Payment you. only well, if they, I love you. Listen, you, listen, listen. No, 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 no. Don't give me hugs now. Play, play the pay victims. Listen, Go ahead. it says a man for the man, free for the free, free for the free, white man for white man, black man for a black man, slave man. Uh, does it say black man? Where does it say black man for well, a black if, man? Uh, who is the slave? Slave for a slave. Who is the brother, slave? You who is the slave of your prophet? Black who who, who is the slave black of your prophet? His name. Who is the slave? Who is the slave? Who is the slave of your prophet? His name is Bilal. Correct. Brother, give me from the Quran, please. You are quoting from no Quran. Problem. I mean, okay. So listen. Okay, slave for slave. Quran, forget, brother. forget. Slave for slave. Female for female. So I killed your wife. Is it justice to kill my wife or to kill me? You killed my wife? Yeah. Is it justice to kill my wife or to kill me? May Allah forgive you, man. I don't, I don't even want to think about that. Um, so come on, don't done. play games now. We are just making an exam. No, okay. Yeah, so let's I go. kill let's your go. wife. Let's go. Is it justice to kill me or to kill my wife? Which one is justice? To kill the one who he killed or the wife of the killer? What is the guilt of my wife if I kill your wife? Okay, let's let's go. What is justice for a man who killed wife? Hmm. And referring back to Quran. We are talking about the Quran, chapter 2, yeah. verse 178. Sorry, what's your question again? My friend, focus with me. I don't know what's wrong. If a man, he killed a wife of somebody, is it justice to kill the man who killed the women or to kill his wife? Just, uh, let's go. Mm. Let's go, brother. This is a good one. I like this. Justice for someone. Ah, my phone. Ah, your phone. Yes, one second, man. I don't have a expensive phone like you, so. I'm using phone made by the Chinese. Your phone is made by the Chinese too. Yeah, but my phone, uh, it went through a lot. Uh -huh. Too much hashish? No. Well, stop taking hashish, my friend, so you can save money for a better phone. Alhamdulillah, I stopped. What stop? I saw it in the front of you. That's hookah. This is, this is oh, you, you used to do hashish. Now you are taking hookah. Yeah. Ah, so you upgrade yourself from hashish or you downgrade yourself? 
from hashish I'm to hookah. I'm trying to be a righteous brother. Oh, okay, good. That's good. That's. I good. am just a servant of Allah. Okay. Sorry for taking your time. No problem. My time is for you. I'm just here to help you. Chapter 5, verse 32 of the quote says, We ordained for the children of Israel that if anyone slew a person... Why well, you keep repeating that verse? What I'm asking about brother, this verse. anything in the Quran, it's the word No of problem, Allah, but you gave me that verse Allah. already. You gave me that verse already. You did read it. Why we read it again? Answer okay. me. Why if a man killed a woman... We are going to kill the wife of that man. Okay, should we should Give me it in the Quran where it says that. It says that in front of you. Female for the female. Where? Which area? Okay, it's, it's, what's wrong with you? Chapter chapter 2, verse 178. Slave for a slave. So if I kill a slave, you kill my slave. But now we, we kill two innocent people. The slave is an innocent person. And then you kill other innocent person who is a slave. What is justice? Slave for slave, okay. so I kill your slave, you kill my slave. So now we have two victims, oh, you and, have, and the okay, killers are having fun. All you who have believed prescribed to you is legal retribution for those murdered. The free for the free, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. But whoever overlooks from his brother, the killer, anything, the killer, whoever overlooks the killer, anything, then there should be a suitable follow-up and payment to him. The diseased hair or legal representative with a good conduct. This is an elevation from your Lord and the mercy. But whoever transgresses after that will have a painful punishment. Or you who have believed, as prescribed for you in the case of, mur of murdered people, the free man will be killed for the free man, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. However, if, if one is somewhat forgiven by his brother the the recourse of the latter is to pursue the former of blood money with fairness and the obligation of the former is to pay it to the latter in a nice way that is a relief from your lord and the mercy and so whoever transgresses after all that will have painful punishment are we going to read for the first There's time answer, brother. You keep, what, what is the answer i ask you right there like what uh, what they right actually there, right. actually this verse allowing rich people to kill for free because all what they do they kill they pay some money as long as you are rich you can get out of jail nobody punish you you go to the you poor have to man have justice, brother. listen you, can't have that. you go to the poor man you say you know what you have to forgive me and i will pay you otherwise i will kill you too i'm powerful i'm rich so the guy he says okay you know i have a family i have to run my family please okay i will take money so now who is the brother to take money for his brother because he got killed. Is he a cow? Secondly, this murder here, it's a murder. It's not an accident like somebody driving his car and by mistake he hit somebody. No, it's a murder. And it says a free for the free, slave for the slave. So I ask it, you the question and I repeat murder, again. But you didn't if say I mistake. if now, I kill your if, slave. If it's a mistake, I, there's something else. This is not a yeah, this is not a mistake. This is a murder. Yeah. Okay. So if I kill your slave, is it justice to say, okay, let us kill his slave? It's right there in the Quran. Allah says, I just told you what it says. What it says? But you could accept payment too, right there. For it what to payment? Give him I killed, I right killed, and payment I killed, unto him I killed your wife. This is I an elevation your of mercy. Wife. The next ayah. Okay, and there on. is life well, listen, for you listen, in retaliation. Listen, listen. All men okay. of understanding Are you saying that you to me that if a Muslim man... It is prescribed if, for you if, when okay. death approaches one of you, if he leaves wealth, if a that man, he bequeath unto parents. If somebody rape your wife, do you get payment? Do you accept and payment? relatives in if, kindness. If somebody, if somebody, for all those if somebody who rape, of evil. Okay, if somebody and rape your wife, you get, do you get after payment? Behalf, if somebody kill your wife, you accept payment. Let's go. To, let's go back to Quran and refer. Let's see. Uh, what's wrong with you? The Quran Brother, saying. Not, the Quran Brother. saying. Okay, if a, if a free man killed a slave, what the punishment? If a what? If a free white man, he killed a black slave. What the Not punishment? white. Why are you saying white or black? Why are you? Well, your prophet is the this? white. They are the one who own the slaves. 
It is one Muslim in the time of your prophet was not white and he don't own the You just said there was believers, believers, Muslim believers who were slaves. Yeah, those too. are the one you forced them into said, Islam okay, after. Men, listen, listen, let me explain to you how they became Muslims. Those are the same as Bilal because now they are slaves. You force them, you say to them, we treat you nicely. So they hope if we become Muslims, we will free us. We will have a hope to be freed one day. But still, Muhammad don't free them. And now, this is how ugly Muhammad, he is. So I'm asking you, you now, Muhammad, if a free said, man, he killed a slave man, what is the punishment in Islam? Okay, it is not for a believer, right here. And never is it for a believer to kill a believer, except by mistake. Oh, this is good. And whoever kills a believer by mistake, then the freeing of a believing but we slave are not talking about mistake. and the compensation we are talking about murder to free the slave a, to a, his a friend family, chapter two chapter two the it says the word charity. but if he my friend what mistake what me. mistake this you are quoting for me wrong wrong answer it was says from in a front of, at war with you listen and he was a believer this is not a then war the this, is not a war. Slave, this is not if, this is not and a war. if he was from a people this with whom you have a treaty then a compensation then a compensation payment oh, presented to to his family and the freeing of a believing okay. slave and whoever does, does, does not say, find does it say one or cannot does it, does afford it say, to buy does one, it say in the case of then murder. a pass of, for two months S consecutively seeking acceptance does of it repentance say, from Allah. Does it say and in the Allah case, is ever knowing yeah, and it's why. It's a radio station. You know, like you hit the bomb, the radio is start. So does it say in the case of murder? Go ahead, brother. I'm listening. What do you mean to go ahead? I keep repeating what, what the question, you and you are saying to me by mistake. Does it say in the front of you in the case of murder? Murder. Murder is not a mistake. And never is it for a believer to kill a believing slave. This is not the question. Yeah, but not... I know that, that was just one. I like to I like to quote from the Quran, brother. I, I know, but your quotation have nothing to do with the, with me. And the slave there is not about slavery. Here we are talking about all of you are slaves, supposed slave of Allah. But here the uh, question is, Quran in the case of brother. murder, if I kill your wife, what kind of religion says you kill my wife? Let's if see. I kill Let's your wife. Okay. okay, this is good. Let's see. Oh. Okay, the case of murder. Uh -huh. If someone kills my wife, if someone kills my wife hmm. what is in the Islam. Hmm. He's searching Google. I search I search the Quran, brother. No, you are not. The Quran in front of you. Yeah, the Quran is my phone. That's what I have, brother. No, here it says in the front of you, you are searching Google if a man killed his uh somebody killed his wife. That's why you're searching yeah, Google. Yes, I'm referring back to Quran no? only. Uh, no, chapter two, That's verse one seventy-eight, it says to you, What is the case? This is the only time the Quran speak about if a man, if somebody commit a murder against a female, what the punishment? We kill a female. If you commit a murder against a slave, what we do? We kill as a slave. If a free man commit murder against a free man, well, we kill the free man. So man for the man, free man for the free man, slave man for the slave man, free male for the female. It's very clear. And I can show you the interpretation. Finish, finish, finish the ayah, brother. You're not finishing. And they, if they accept payment, it's fine because you Muslims everything for sale. You sell the blood of your family. You Muslim, you sell you sell everything. You sold Jerusalem. You sold oh, you who believe even though you don't own it. Describe to you oh. in the matter of the murder, the free man for the for the free man, and the slave for the slave, and the female for the female, and for him who is forgiven somewhat by his injured brother, prosecution according to usage and payment unto him in kindness. How many this times is elevation you read the, the verse, my friend? From How many times you he read the verse for the last? We'll Why painful, you keep reading the same do, do thing? Not transgress, oh brother. Okay, hold on, do hold on. I, I give up with you. Hold on. Chapter 2, verse 178. Let's see and go and see the interpretation. Can we? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Because you keep reading and repeating the same thing for me, man. This is too, too much. Too much hashish will kill you. Let us see. So here, this is the interpretation. Do you like Ibn Abbas or Ajalalain or what do you like? Who, me? Yeah. Do I, I love Allah. You love Allah? Okay. Yes, this is Ajalalain saying, all oh, who you believe prescribed, Jacob, prescribed Musa, made obligatory for you in retaliation, retaliation on equal terms 
regarding the slain both in uh, attributes of one slain in the action involved a free man is killed for a free man and not for a slave so if a free man kill a slave a free man will not be killed just said for a free man for a free man brother yes and not for us if uh, read it and not for a slave so free man will be killed for Cain, a free man only. But if a free man killed a slave, he will not be killed. Follow the law of Allah. Yeah, this is the law of Allah. Yes, follow. Okay, so you must them you kill a slave and there is no punishment. There's no punishment. It says in the front of you, a free man for a free man, and and uh, and the free man is and is, the slave for a slave. It's right there. Okay, but if a, man, a free man not for a slave, so if a man he is a free. He killed the slave, he will not be punished. What are you talking about, man? If a free man, he killed a free man, he will be killed. Not for killing a slave. It's in the front of you. A free man is killed for a free man and not for a slave. So if a free man killed a slave man, he will not be killed. But if a free man killed a free man, he will be killed. O ye who believe, retaliation is required for you in the matter of murder. The free man for the free man. Why do you keep reading the same? And the slave I'm, for I'm the slave. You, I'll, I'll, and the female I'm for the female. I'm showing you at, 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 at Jalalain. My friend, you did read that verse 70 times already. What's wrong with you? I'm showing you at Jalalain. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. It says, a free man is killed for a free man, not for a slave. And he continues saying here, and a slave for a slave, and female for a female. Let's go. Let's go where? No, no, let's go. It's on, brother. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, uh, forget this one. Let us go back to no, zero. No, no, okay. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Let us go Talk. back. Let us go back to zero. Give me one Give one me. thing in, in Islam. Make you a Muslim while you are a Muslim. Killing injustice. Let's see. Okay, you, you was talking about murder, right? Let's go, brother. Let's go. Are you forcing, are you forcing me to Surah hang up? Nisa, listen, listen, uh, Muhammad, are you forcing me to hang up on you? No, no, please. Can I just Are say you one serious? Thing? Are you serious? I mean, after repeating the, the question up, a thousand times, and now you are saying to me, are you talking about murder? How many times I said to you in the case of murder, in the case of murder, in the case of murder, and now you are saying to me, are you talking about the case of murder? Here it is, brother. And it is not for a believer to kill a believer except by mistake. And whoever kills okay, a believer on, by hold mistake on. So must set free a believer. So it is not for a believer to kill a believer. Okay, hold on, hold on. You just the, said something evil. Unless so a they believer, remit it a believer, as a free will and offering. Okay, hold on. But if he, the, the slain, is from me. a tribe hostile unto you, and he is a believer, the verse, then the penance is to set the free. Let's go. A believer, he cannot kill a believer. So believer can kill all unbelievers. What an evil religion. Sorry, I, you know, I cannot continue with you. I mean, I'm wasting my time repeating the same question for 10,000 times. Go back to the, to the hashish. The hashish killed your brain. I never, I never heard of a Muslim you have a brain anyway. And the funny, there's a Muslim saying to me, debate me, me hijab, Christian Prince. I called him. Do he dare to call me? Go watch it. And he did not let me ask any question. He hung up on me more than seven times. I did not even ask one question. Did you say that? Hang up on him. Pastor, pastor, your Mimi Hijab was so much intimidated like a cat. He was terrified. I scared the hell of him. He had six Muslims next to him. He promised the Muslim to debate me. Did he dare even to debate me? He will never dare. All of you are potatoes. At least this guy is decent. You know, he don't know. I mean, he's, uh, uh, he has, at least he's a man. This guy, he just called me. He's a man. Your Mimi Hijab is not.
Do we have any Muslim have a knowledge to call us? And you know, because their prophet, he says stupid things, so they decide not to listen to the hadith, because the prophet, he make poo, poo he don't talk. You know, in the Middle East, if a man is a stupid, when he go to get married, he, you know, the parents go, like this tradition. So the parents, they go, and they are the one who have to ask for the hand of the bride. So if their son is a stupid, they say to him, listen, when we go there, don't say anything. If they ask question, we will answer. You don't say anything. The stupid guy, he go there and he start talking. And the second they heard how he talk, they refuse to give them the daughter. That is Islam. Muhammad, he say hadith, and the hadith is embarrassment. The prophet received divine inspiration. He went to the cave. He come back from the cave. What happened in the cave? One story says he saw the angel in the cave. The other story says out the cave. A man, he came to Muhammad and he started squeezing him. This man, he said to Muhammad, read. The prophet, he says, I do not know how to read. The angel squeezed him so hard. He said to him, read, man, read. The prophet says, I told you, you stupid idiot, I do not know how to read. The angel, he repeat again, and he squeezed the prophet like a mayonnaise, and no mayonnaise is coming out, but ketchup. And he said to him, read, man, read. And the prophet says to him, I cannot read, I cannot read. I told you, I cannot, no. I do not know how to read. Just leave me alone. The angel hold him for the third time, and he said to him, read. It looked like, it's like a conversation between two deaf people. One say to the other person, read. The other one says to him, I do not know how to read. The other person squeeze him and insist, you should read. But the guy do not know how to read. And what the conclusion? The cl conclusion is a stupid story. Because if the first one is an angel of God, and Allah is the one who is saying those words, read. Don't Allah knew that Muhammad do not know how to read? Maybe Allah want to do a miracle, but still Muhammad do not know how to read. Trust me, if what was Jesus, he will make Muhammad read. Jesus said to the blind man, see, he saw. He said to the dead man, come from the grave. He came from the grave. He told the man who cannot walk, carry your bed and walk. He carry his bed and walk. Allah, he said to Muhammad, read. And he squeezed him three times. Still Muhammad cannot read. And how the Muslim, they escape the embarrassment? We say, we don't accept those stories, but those are sahih. It says Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih al-Bukhari. The funny is, the name of the book is Sahih, which means authentic. And what the Muslim, they say, this is not authentic. And the second we start reading for them the Quran, they start giving different interpretation and they add words for the Quran. A Muslim is wondering, look what, the, look what the Muslim is wondering now. He's not wondering why his prophet been asked three times to read and still he cannot read. He is wondering why Christian prince is not in Qatar. Huh. A Muslim brain, the Muslim brain function like the prophet brain, flight of thoughts. We are, we are give, giving his prophet a spank non-stop. And what he is worried about? Ahmed Lemur. Are you, your name is Lemur or Le, Lemanur? Why CP is not in Qatar if Israel fan as in Qatar? And CP is not Hajja. Let him, let ask him why he doesn't live in Qatar. Well, he does not want to know the truth. Uh -huh. That's deep. I'm getting dizzy. I mean, who can refute that? We are asking serious questions. 
The Muslims, they are like their false prophet. They are suffering from flight of thoughts. And they think by flight of thought, they can escape the questions. They can escape the, temp the, the, the torture of the question. And then the prophet who been squeezed, he did not know what's happened. He went to his wife. I thought the wives are shaitan. Isn't it your prophet? He says women, they come in the image of shaitan and they live in the image of shaitan. So why is going to the shaitan to ask him, to ask her what happened to me? He went to his wife and he told her what happened. The wife, she took him from his hand like a kid. She took him to Waraqa ibn Nufal, which I believe he is the real father of Muhammad. Waraqa ibn Nufal, who was not there, he told him, man, this is Zibril. Like, what the heck? The guy Muhammad did not notice that this is Zibril, but the Waraka who never saw the angel ever in his life, he noticed that this is Zibril. Notice carefully. Waraka, he never ever met Jibril, not even in a coffee shop. And the one who was able to recognize that this is Jibril, it was Waraka. He said to him, listen carefully, I think this is Zibril. Jibril ibn Nawfal ibn Asad ibn Abdul Uzza, the slave of Al-Uzza. His god is Al-Uzza, pagan man. Waraka was a son of her partner uncle, i.e. her father brother, who during the pre-Islamic period became a Christian, true story. And he used to write, the Arabic writing and used to write the gospel in Arabic. That is the Quran. That is the Quran. That is not the gospel. This man is making a book. As much as Allah wished him to write, he was an old man and he had lost his eyesight. How oh, the guy, he is writing a book, but he cannot see. Don't ask questions. Khadija said to him, Oh, my cousin, listen to the story of your nephew. Waraka asked, Oh, my nephew, what have you seen? Look, what the heck? She did not tell him he's seen something. She said, listen to the story. How he knew he's seen something? The Prophet of Allah described whatever he had seen. Waraka said, ah, mm, Aman, Rabbi, Aman. This is the same Namas, i.e. Zibril, the angel who keeps the secrets. What the heck? How Waraka he noticed that this is Jibreel? Is that because Jibreel is very famous that he squeezed a lot? The squeezer? Or when the guy said to him, a man came to me and he squeezed me three times and he said to me, read. How Waraka was able to recognize that this is the angel Jibreel? Not only is an angel, he noticed that his name is Jibreel. And this will remind me of a story in the Quran. When Solomon, he went to the valley of the ants, which is very well known, it exists. You can go right now to California. In California, there is a valley, it's called the valley of the ants. So when Solomon, he arrived to the valley of the ant, one of the ants, she smiled and, sorry, she said to her friends, one of the ants, look at this details, man, look at the details. One of the ant, an ant said, oh ants, go inside your nest, let Salomon, his troops will crush you uh, without uh, noticing. What the heck? How the ant, she was able to know the name of Salomon? I will tell you. Solomon, at that time, he was a very famous king in TikTok, the ant version. The ants, all of them, they, did, they download TikTok. And Solomon used to make short videos. And the ant, she was one of his fans, so he, she knew him. She saw him a million times. I mean, okay, the ant, she said to the other ant, there is an army to crush you. How she knew that his name is Solomon?
hide otherwise Trump will crush you? The ant, she knew the name of the king Solomon. An ant. And by the way, if you go to the Islamic stories in the Hadith, you will find that Solomon got upset. Here it says he smiled. He said to her, do you think we are going to crush you unjustly? Then she said, no, no, honey. My heart for you. Don't you see I said without noticing? Don't you see that? Solomon, then he felt better. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you said without noticing, correct. Mm. So I never saw a prophet of Allah, he lost a debate with an ant as in the Quran. The ant, she got Solomon busted. Uh, Muhammad is calling me again. Why are you calling me Muhammad? You will not answer anything. No, no, I just want, I have one thing to say, brother. What do you want uh, to say? So you believe that Jesus is, uh, okay, I want to know something. Okay, G Adam is what to you? You believe in Adam? Who is Adam? Do you believe in Adam? Who is Adam? Adam. I'm asking you, who is Adam? You don't know who is Adam? Yeah. The first human being, you don't know? What his name, his wife, what his name of his kids. Do you know what? Adam? I said, do you I'm asking you, who is Adam? Is Adam in your scripture? I'm no? asking you, who is Adam? Because maybe you're talking about different Adam. I want to know, who is Adam? Adam, yes, Adam. I don't know Adam. ما بعرفش ما بعرفش لا يا زلمة عربي انت اسمع اسمع so who is Adam is that is that the one his his wife her name is Eve indeed the example of Jesus is, is, is that Allah is, is like that, that okay Adam. hold on I'm asking you I'm, ask, I'm asking you him, I'm, okay, be, was, and he was okay okay I will, I will go to that verse so why is Adam not the son of God okay okay you quote for me me you quote yeah, for me a verse you quote for me a verse says that the similarity between Adam and Jesus is what be and he was indeed the, the example of Jesus to Allah is like okay. that you just Adam. you just him you just dust, you just got to him be and he was all right you just get your prophet and your God busted because did Allah created Adam by saying be I just uh, like that of Adam he created I'm asking him you dust. did Allah created Adam by saying to him be and he was indeed the example of Jesus to so, Allah is okay. like that of so Adam. The, he so created the Quran, him from dust. So the Quran then is lying. So the Quran is and he was. So the Quran is lying because the Quran says. He said, says, "Be and he was." No, Allah. He uh, first he he got him. He, he made him by got his him. hands. <laughs> got he, him. He made him by his hands. He fashioned him and then he breathed into him. So you got me? No, I got your prophet. He got spanked by you now. So answer: Did Allah created Adam by using his hands or by seeing being? Create Adam, be, and he so was. The, that's what he said. So the so the verse about Allah, He breathed into him, is a lie. That, that's another verse. Let's see. Okay, ready? Right. Let's okay. go. Uh huh. Let's go. I love you for the sake of Allah, brother. May Allah no guide problem. you and your family. You followers. cannot love me for the sake of Allah. This is against Islam. But anyway, chapter fifteen. I can. I can. Chapter ask Allah fifteen. To no, you Allah no, you cannot. No, you cannot. Allah can do brother. nothing. We are all human beings. Allah brother. is a disabled creature in a front of me. We are all me. human beings. No, you know, you, we are all human beings, brother. Uh, uh, is, Allah, is, Allah, is, is Allah? Don't change the topic. Human don't change the topic. Don't change. Don't. Don't. Don't play drama. Don't play drama. Don't play drama. I will give you tissues as much as you want. I just have one thing to say. Listen. Listen. Chapter fifteen. Chapter fifteen. Verse number twenty-eight says. Chapter fifteen. Verse number twenty-eight says that. Allah, He created Adam. By the way, your camera is 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 on. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry, brother. Ah, don't people to see your don't you want people to see your beard? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, mashallah, what a beard, man. Thank you, man. I have to shave. I know, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna grow it for like another five years. All right. So in so. chapter fifteen, chapter fifteen, verse number twenty-eight says, and remember when your Lord He says to the angels, I'm going to create a man. From sounding clay, black smooth mud, and then after I fashioned him, com and complete him, I breathed into him. But you said to me, Allah, He says, be and He was. So Allah, He made the clay first. What then, chapter, brother? What chapter, chapter fifteen, verse number
Recall when your Lord said to the angels, I will indeed bring into a being, a human being out, out of dry ringing clay, or were wrought from black mud. When I have completed shaping him and have breathed into him of my spirit, hmm. then fall you down before him in prostration. So did Allah uh, say, uh, did, Allah say be? Prostrate, did Allah say be to Adam and he was or he made us a clay first and then he fashioned the clay and then he breathed into the clay? Yeah, right there it says it. Recall when your Lord said to the angels, I will indeed bring into a being, a human being, that out of dry fringing clay, wrote from black mud, what I have completed shape in him, mm -hmm. and have breathed into him of my spirit, okay. then fall you down before him in prostration, and they fell in prostration. Exactly. So how Allah, he created Adam, he did not say to him, be and he was. He no, he, it he says made, indeed he, the example of Jesus to Allah. Yes, exactly, exactly. But Jesus this is a mistake. Like but this Adam. is a mistake because neither, because, because, because neither, because neither, neither Adam, neither Jesus in the Quran was created by same being, and he was. Wait, what? So let's say, Jesus. The, focus with me. Focus with me, Muhammad. You have a problem with focusing. Listen, in chapter Brother, fifteen. I had a, I had a in chapter so fifteen. Did Allah say be to Adam and he was before he fashioned by his hands, using his hands, fashion, making the clay using his hands. And then after that, after he using his hand and made the clay and fashioned the clay and then he breathed into the clay. Did Allah say be to Adam and he was before he used his hands and fashioned the clay and then breathed into the clay or after? Brother, hmm. you have to go very slow for me. Um, okay, I will go slower. You have to go very slow and try not to make it too no long. No problem. Make no problem. A question because, okay. brother, you know, I I had the accident, so I stay in bed. I had spine surgery. No problem. You know? I, I will pray so, to the Lord to save you, my friend. I will ask the Christian to pray for you. So listen. Tell Allah, them to pray to Allah, please. Yes. No, to Jesus. We don't pray to Allah. Yes, Allah, tell Allah them to is pray to Allah. Okay, my friend, no problem. Take care. Okay. Allah is a devil as you see he just got his prophet busted because neither Jesus who is calling me again my friend you cannot answer anything and no, no, no just one thing no because you cannot answer you claim because you, you because you have an accident you have an accident in your spine what does have to do with your brain Yes, brother. I had spine surgery, brother. Go easy, brother. our friend if you have so a spine I, if you, you have know. a spine pain what does have to do with your brain Oh, because I hit my head, man. You hit your head and the, uh, the, uh, the spine? Alhamdulillah, Allah, he gave me second chance, you know, to okay, why? see people okay, like okay, you. Okay, I will and, go with you. Uh, why Allah did not give Muhammad second chance? Who, which Muhammad, me? Muhammad, no, me, Muhammad, your prophet. Is, is your my, prophet, my prophet, is your prophet, is your prophet my dead? Prophet, or, you have is no your idea, prophet, is prophet. your prophet is dead? Mm -hmm. Is your prophet is dead? Okay. Was he dead? Is my prophet dead? Is he dead? Yeah. Yeah. Why he died? Allah. Mm. Let's go to a brother, please. No, I'm giving you an easy question. I'm giving you an easy uh, question. Why he, why he died? To Allah we belong and to him we shall return. So why Jesus, why Jesus is not dead? Jesus is alive. Why? Jesus? I'll yeah. tell you right now. You want me to quote the Quran for you? Okay, but tell me why you can quote whatever you want. Why Jesus is alive? Okay, let's go. Huh. Brother, by the way, Andrew Tate is a mushrik, and uh, no Muslim should follow him. No people. He why he's a mushrik? Why he's a mushrik? The guy he drink whiskey, and you say it doesn't to... matter. It doesn't make you a kafir if you drink whiskey. No, and he drink. I smoke hashish. I know, but it doesn't he, make you a kafir. And higher prostitution, and he's and he's a pimp. He's so, a mushrik. He calls in people to worship him next to God. You can't do that. So what? Muhammad, That's a mushrik. Okay, hold on. Don't, but don't you Muslim worship Muhammad? No, we don't. We worship Allah. Okay, hold on. If, you know, Androta, Andrita Tate, he said that he is God because people, they believe that he is the example okay. to listen to. But don't you Muslim, you follow what Muhammad yeah. say? 
Okay. Yeah, we follow what he say. We follow because he follows the, the sunnah of Allah. That's what we follow. But okay, he, he can claim the same. He can claim that Allah told me to tell you. And now you follow me. I, he said, I am the savior. Isn't it you Muslim? You claim okay. that Muhammad is a savior? Brother, let me tell you something. Hmm. He is not the savior. He calls on people to worship him. That he is the king. And he causes mischief and corruption. Now I'm going to read this for you. No, no, hold time. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, Tate is not a Muslim, so why the Muslims inviting him to every Muslim channel and saying he converted Islam, Islam invites everyone to Islam. No, 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 no. They interview him and they say why he converted to Islam. Dean show Mimi Hijab. Yeah, I Ali know. They all cloud a lot of them cloud chases, brother. But I'm gonna say this: Quran chapter three seventy nine. Never would a human being whom God blessed with the Scripture and prophethood say to the people, "Idolize me beside God." Instead, he would say, devote yourself absolutely to your Lord alone, according to the scriptures you preach and the and the teachings you learn. Okay, I, I, I want to say thank you for giving because, me that verse, because that verse proving that you Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. Every oh, single Muslim okay. channel invited him, oh, TV stations, Muslim YouTubers. What, what do you care about what the, the majority of people are going to hell? The majority, the majority, the majority of Muslims will go to hell, including Mimi. Yes. So you are the saying, so you are saying, Mimi Hijab is a liar when he said he is a Muslim, and he's the majority of uh, follow the Quran. Do so me, so people. Muhammad Hijab is the idolizing faith. the man, and he is a mushrik. Yeah, he needs to like read it, like go back to all. I don't know what's his plan, what the, these war room guys are doing. I have no idea, but mm. they are totally like misguided and like causing corruption on the earth. Okay. And they say, but, but we let, are. Let we me are ask you. Let me ask you. Andre Andre Tate Titi he he op, he <laughs> opened he opened he opened a pimp house he opened a pimp house. I don't know what he does, is, man. Is that but... the for yeah? This is how he made his money. All his money from the pimp uh, website pimp. He was a pimp. You can watch his videos. He have yeah. even videos of himself doing porn. So according to Islam, is it okay for him? Is it halal or haram to practice such a business to be a pimp and to open a porn house? Haram. 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 What Haram. if I show you from the Quran? It says it is halal. Haram. Show me. Okay, here we go. And now you will see that Tate or Titi is being a good Muslim because simply he is following the Quran. He is a pimp and it's okay to be a pimp in Islam. I just gave you the ayah. No, you did cannot not. cannot otherwise worship, but let's go. No, the one you gave me, proving Muhammad to be false because you, you Muslim, you worship Muhammad. Chapter 24, verse number 33, it says... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't read it. Let me open it. Chapter 24. Uh -huh. And please respect Mr. Titi. He is the Allah of Islam today. He's a mushrik. He He's is a Allah. Kabir. He is Allah. And we have a proof. He is posting all over YouTube that I am God. I am I am the knowledge he will lead people to the hellfire do not follow him and, uh, no one how, follow him. how follow you know? I think he is the true Allah and he have whiskey in his side who is in your side drinking does not make you a kafir gambling I'm asking you, you he a have a whiskey and worshiping he have whiskey whiskey and hookers and worship him he have whiskey you, and hookers you in yours in his side who is in your side here brother I am here at chapter an nur verse uh -huh. 24 uh -huh. go ahead Okay, it says, first not your girls to do prostitution, but if you first no, the, the, more support. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where are you? Al Nur, right? Chapter 24. Chapter 24, verse number 33. Oh, 33, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Force not, not your girls to do prostitution if they choose to, do, to be chaste. But if you force them, Allah is all merciful. So if they agree to do chest, to, to do a prostitution, it's halal. And you are the one who said you go on. You the it says, it says, and let those who cannot find the match keep chaste till Allah give them independence by His grace. And such of your slaves as seek a raiden of emancipation, mm. raid it for them mm. if ye are aware of all of good in them. And okay. Store if they choose, if they choose, the of Allah, if they choose, listen, listen. You. Does it say if they choose? Force not your slave girls to hoard. Them. Force not your slave girls to hoard them, that oh. ye may seek enjoyment. Of the life of the world, if they would preserve their chastity. Exactly. If one so them, if uh, listen, after listen. Them, after do you see? Law, do you Allah see? Do you see? It says. Merciful. Listen. It says if they desire. So what if they don't desire? It's okay. It just you said if they desire, you can't, brother. 
It says no. Where it says you cannot. Where it says you cannot. It says it says for us not. And not only that. Not only that. Not only that. Not only that. It says even if you force them, Allah is all merciful. It, but he said, "Don't Allah." No, Allah is no, all, no, no. He Allah said, "He said, listen." Allah, he said, Allah, "Oh, Allah, also, Allah okay." You. He Allah said, "For us, them not if." Listen, Allah listen, listen. Not. Don't cut the verse. For us, them not if they desire chastity. So, if the woman she agreed to be a hooker, business is good. It's in front of you. There's a video in Suku film. Made Wait, by three second, by three Muslims, they are the fan of the hijab, and they are saying, "Look like it's okay to be a pimp in Islam," and this is the truth. You can be a pimp, and actually, if you go and read, the, you are uh, you are <laughs> providing falsehood. My friend, it's in front of you. It's in front of you. You can read the interpretation. You can read the interpretation. So, so and 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 Drati and Drati and Drati and Drati. Was this chapter two? And Drati, my friend. He was a practicing. He was a practicing your prophet teaching. Word Man, that he's misleading the Christians and misleading the Muslims. How he can mislead the Christian if he's not a Christian? A this guy, he say clearly he's an atheist. He was an atheist. He don't believe in God. And then how you say he mislead the Christians by the whiskey? Because of what they, what he's doing, I don't know what they're doing, man. But we don't listen to this one guy. Thing no, a one is thing he's a Christian. One day he's Muslim. We are not the one. We are not the one is excited for him. It is you, Muslims, who is excited for him, and he is following the teaching of Allah. He opened a pimp house. He is teaching people to that. He is. He is the one who Allah, can save I am them. not excited. I'm, I'm. I'm excited for myself and Allah. That's it. And my fam. Okay, hold on. Listen, I listen, 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 with, listen. You know, I, listen, 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 listen. Okay, if you're a prophet. You said you don't follow. I'm not a prophet. I oh, no, no, I'm not prophet. talking about you. Listen, listen carefully. Focus with me. How many times you pray a day? Don't worry. It's between me and Allah, brother. No, no, no. I'm asking you as a Muslim. How many times you should pray a day? I'm about that, brother. I'm asking you. How many times as I a Muslim should pray? You. No. How many? I just answered you. No, you did not. Yeah, I'm about that. I don't. And I, what? About that. What is that? That means I, I I I try my best to pray as much as I can, but is that is that an Arabic word you said to me? Yeah, I, I did not understand what you said. What you said again? Bakatta. Bakatta. Yeah. What do you mean? You cut, good, you, you cut off. What does that mean? You cut off. Bakatta, like I'm supposed to pray five times, you know. In the, okay. Let's see, you just pray. said you're supposed to pray five times, and this is why yeah, I was yeah, driving. Yeah, There we go. You are. Where smart, in the Quran it says to pray five times? <clears throat> And you're going to say now, where in the Quran does it say? Where five in the Quran times it says to pray five times? You yes, say it. You I say, knew you was going to say that. You, you say it. You say it. You follow concern. only the you Quran. I got you busted again. So, where in the Quran it says you pray five times? The Quran says you pray. You could pray a hundred times. No, in the Quran. You said five times. Everybody heard you saying. Everybody heard you saying. You pray. You should pray five times a day. Why the Quran says you should pray only three times yes. a day. The two you know what you don't day, realize, brother, is that you are the two, going to change the two so end of much. the day and the one in the middle of the day, the approach of the night. So do you Allah, see it? you have a plan, but Allah has a better plan than you. Well, Allah, here we go. The plan of Allah is not working. Muslim are leaving Islam left and right. Even they are following and great They can do what they want, brother. Aren't you they the one just say to want. me? Aren't you the one who just? Are not, aren't you, you the one who just said that judgment, the Muslims now are the being father, deceived by Andrew and draw and draw the pay? Brother, nobody will look at each other. Nobody will look at each other. Your own mother, your sister, your father. You will turn away. You will turn away. Answer me. Why the Quran? Jesus will be a witness the Quran, to all those the that Quran, call him the Son of Mary. Why the Quran? Okay. Why the Quran says you pray three times, but you I pray mean, five? The Son of God. Stop why you pray th five times if the Quran says it three? And why you Muslims are corrupting the Quran saying five? Look at the Quran. Look, it says here no. five times. That's why you only follow the Quran. You answer my own question. But look, question. inside the Quran now, the look Muslim, they are that, adding words. It says, I you e five compulsory. You Salat. are the man. You answer my question. That's why you follow the Quran. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> the Quran says you pray only three. What the Muslim do? They pray five. Why? Because Allah, when Muhammad, he went to heaven, Allah told Muhammad, but Muhammad never spoke to Allah, which means how, how he spoke to him, we don't know. If he doesn't speak to him, never spoke to him, how, how, how he gave him 50 prayer? And then when Muhammad is going back down to the earth, 
he met with a Jewish guy. His name is Moshe. And Moshe saw him, Khabibi Muhammad. Khabibi Muhammad, what Allah told you, Khabibi? Uh, uh, he told me to play uh, 50 times. Uh, Moshe said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, you are an Arab, you are an idiot. You do not know mathematics, Khabibi. How you can pray 50 times a day, Khabibi? Go back to Allah, Khabibi, and tell him to, you know, give you discount. You know, Musa is a Jew. They are very good in business. So Muhammad, he went to Allah and he asked him for a discount. So he made it 30, uh, 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 44, 45, 40, uh, 35, 30. And each time he go back to Ada, to Musa's in the way, Musa's is just waiting for Muhammad. He said to him, Khabibi, what Allah told you? Oh, he gave me 50, 45. Thank you, Musa's 40. Khabibi, Muhammad, 45, Muhammad. This is too much, Khabibi. Go back to Allah. Go back to Allah and tell him, I cannot do it, Habibi. Come on, your people cannot do it, Habibi. Go. So Muhammad, he spanked him in his ass and Muhammad, go back to Allah. And then Muhammad, when he go back to Allah, Allah, he gave him, okay, 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 no problem. Five, five, uh, I, will, I will give you five discount more, okay? If, uh, it, now it's 40 prayer. Muhammad, he go back to uh, his way. Musa is waiting again, you know, behind his bank. He opened a bank in heaven too. Uh, selling visa card and he said oh Habibi Muhammad come here come here Habibi what uh, how many prayer he gave you Allah oh he gave me you now 40 40 40 ah big this big different from 50 to 40 Musa said Habibi Muhammad stupid Muhammad 40 is too much Habibi go back to Allah asking for more discount Habibi so Muhammad he keep going backward forward backward forward backward forward until the 50 they become five who in the world want to believe such a stupid story? Huh? Have you ever heard of somebody negotiating with his God to give a huge discount? Oh, it's a Black Friday. It must be was Black Friday. It must be. Muhammad, he went to the heaven in Black Friday. But this is the biggest Black Friday ever from 50 to 5. He is calling again. Why are you are calling again? Brother, I said you can pray as much as you want. You can pray as no, much as you want. No, it's not up to you. The Quran, the Quran says you pray only three times. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I I, I want to buy like a monitor for, you know, for me to help me to work in my book. And I thought this Black Friday would give me a good discount, but it's a joke. You know, it's the same price. They are liars. You know, it's a, it's a big fat lie, Black Friday. Look at this. The Messenger of Allah enjoyed 50 prayer upon my innocent. When I, when I came back with Antel, I came to Musa's. Musa says, Habibi Muhammad. What happened, Muhammad? <laughs> Look at the story. Do you see why the Muslims don't want to see the Hadith? Do you see why? Because those stories are hilarious. Muhammad is like a, like a mice who ate a lot of cheese and she deny, and the cheese is all over her, her mustache. And they ask the mice who ate the cheese, and not me. I mean, the most obvious prophet, false prophet ever. He go to heaven, his God give him 50 prayer. In the way back, Moshe and his cousin Jack Shalom, they are in the way. They ask the prophet, what happened, Habibi Muhammad? What happened, Habibi? What has your Lord enjoined you upon your nation? But Moses, how you knew what you would? Maybe he would not enjoy him anything. I said, he enjoyed 50 prayer on me. He said, go back, go back. Go back to your Lord, you idiot. For your nation will not be able to do that. Have you ever heard of a Jewish man correcting even Allah? A Jewish man, his name is Moshe, is getting Allah busted. Your nation cannot do it. Go back, go back. 
but you are asking him to go back and you are asking Allah to fix his mistake as simple as that how in the world this is a religion of God <coughs> go back go back anyway now this is why now we know why the Muhammadan they refuse to accept the hadith because and the Quran it's an embarrassment it's a stupid religion stupid book made by a stupid man did we have a good time today guys and the funny is Muslims they were praising and wrote and wrote that day until we get him busted and suddenly now they start saying he's the Muslim so now they start washing their hands from him just a few days ago every every single Muslim channel every Facebook every etc praising the guy amazing aren't you ashamed and I know by the way I know that this guy will get them busted in fact he have a video just a few days ago maybe seven or eight days you can search in YouTube you will find just go like what last week I think he have a video with a Muslim guy and he said in the video that those who rush into smoking and drinking they are chasing pleasure what what chasing pleasure so what are you doing <laughs> And the Muslim, he's shaking his head with him. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Chasing, chasing a pleasure. And then he posts his own voluntarily. Proud about himself. Smoking hashish, drinking cheap whiskey. $38. You know, I, I'm not expert with a drink. I search this using my phone. I zoom in the picture, in the video. And... I searched it, I found this is $38 whiskey. $38 whiskey? Praise be to Allah. In the top of that, he posed that he is God, he is the Savior, he is the only hope for humanity. The only hope. Obviously, this person he have mental issue. You know, he he really worship himself. Oh, uh, what Muhammad? What? I love you, brother. I love you. Wallah, I love you. Did you decide to leave Islam? I love you, man. Did, did you decide to leave Islam? I love you. Did you decide to leave Islam? Huh? Did you decide to leave Islam? I decided something better, brother. Yeah. So, did you decide to leave Islam or not? I'm gonna give more da'wah to Islam, brother. Okay. These are God's but, revelations. But look what you just said. You just said, you, you just said, so you just, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Other than God and his revelations, on. do they believe? Hold on. You just Can, said, you just said, yes. how many times you said to me, I love you? Did you say how many times? How many times you said to me, I love you? I will say it a thousand times because right. you increase but, me in knowledge. But according to the Quran, never with a human okay, being. Hold on. Okay, okay, never okay. with a human being. Uh, okay, and God bless the scripture. Okay. And Prophet okay. would say to the people, my idolize friend, me beside God. Friend, Instead, he would say, devote yourself but isn't absolutely it, isn't to your Lord isn't alone. The Quran? Isn't according to the scriptures you preach and the teachings you teach, do not commit shirk, all people. Okay. Do not commit shirk. Isn't it the Quran? These are God's revelations that we present to you with truth. So in which hadith other than God in his revelations okay, but isn't it do the, they believe? Oh, Quran 45, 6. My friend, but isn't it the Can Quran? Can someone help clarify but this? Isn't even the, the Muslims Quran, clarify Jaya, this. Let me talk. Even the Muslims. Hisham, what more do you Hisham, need if you have Hisham, the Quran? Uh, sorry, Muhammad, Muhammad. Muhammad, listen. Yes, brother. Quran. When you say to me, you love me, is that according to the Quran or this is your own fantasy? But you increase, you help increase my knowledge. No, no, I'm asking Allah you. Allah helped increase my knowledge. Are you allowed? Are you, go are you allowed? Like you, the people of the disbelievers. Are you allowed? Are you allowed, according to Islam, to love non Muslims? To love you. Let's see. Let's go to the Quran. You know, I'm asking you. You just said to me, I love you. So are you I saying to me, Quran, Are you saying to me, I love you without knowing if you can love me or not? 
Are you an yes? I can love you. Why not? No, the Quran says you are not, and thank you very much. You became an upper state, and this is the Quran. Chapter, well, I can't love someone. Chapter, who's a no, you say you're a Christian, chapter, you're a believer. chapter 58, you chapter 58, chapter 58, chapter 58, verse number 22 says, You will not find a people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. Let's see. And everybody heard you saying, I love you. I love you, brother. I love you, brother. You know, you're, you're trying because to Because you help increase my knowledge, brother. If what mine? Okay, I increase Allah your knowledge. You, I increase Allah, your knowledge. But man. I am Allah the one. But I am the like one. You, I am the nightmare I will love you in the battlefield. How in many, battlefield. How many thousand Muslims left Islam I because of me? I will demolish you. Hisham, hey, hey, Hisham, listen. Oh, hey, Muhammad. How many people left Islam and you are witnessing for that when you watch me? And now they you are saying to me, I love you. And the Quran says you will not find a people who believe in Allah. And the last day, loving those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. Can you believe? You are a kafir. You are not a Muslim no more. You left Islam. Your graduation. Your graduation. You left Islam. May brother. Allah guide you, brother. May Allah, may Allah guide you. You just left Islam Seek yourself. Seek forgiveness, brother. You just became an upper state. You are not. You will not find Allah. Is Allah lying? Allah just said, you will not find. One believer who believe in Allah on the last day, believe in those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. And you just told oh, me, yeah, you, you will say to me, I love you 1,000 times, a million times. So now, Allah says, you will not find, but we found. Verse so 551, Allah is from the Quran, categories makes, let's see, verse 551. Chapter, Haram for Muslims to be friends. Chapter 58, verse Command number 22, Muslims read it. Chapter 58, verse number 22. They say that the verse applies to war times only. Let's see. Don't forget, guys, when uh, when uh, Muhammad, uh, he came back to the chat, just said to him, congratulations, you left Islam, you became an state. Yeah. You know, we are happy for you because you left Islam today. I will and never leave Islam. Will you prove, uh, you, at least you prove to us that Allah is a false God because he said you will not find. Did Allah lie? Obviously he lied because you just Allah told, never lies. I may it, lie. It's recorded. So lie. did you lie to me when you said you love me? I or you lie. Were, did you say to me, I, I love lie. you as a liar Maybe or as an honest? I am lying to you. Did you lie to me when you said I love you? I can you? lie to the kuffar. How's that? Okay, thank you very much. You are following, You're the, very you much. Are following the devil then. I am not following the devil. You are saying well, you, just you said, are following the devil. You just said you can lie to non-Muslims. So you are a devilish person. <laughs> Here we go. He's, he's saying <laughs> to me. <laughs> he, he is saying to me the, the, the vagina of your sister. <laughs> See? Trashy. <laughs> Trashy, son of Muta. <laughs> he just insulted my. He says, you know, the, do you know even have higher sister or not? The vagina of your sister. This is in Arabic. You know, they, they are filthy, trashy. I, I, he have a Palestinian accent because we got them busted wherever they go. Do you see how the love expose? I love you, brother. I love you. They play victims until you close the door of the van over their penis. Or their tail. In the chat, he was posting uh, nice words. May Allah forgive you. May Allah love you. May Allah guide you. But we did get him busted with no mercy. So suddenly he starts speaking filthy language in Arabic. Did I insult him? No. Why he is doing that? Because he could not take it no more. And he said at the end, yes, we can lie to non-Muslims. Did he say that? Yes, we can lie to the kuffar. And then you will find a stupid person in USA, in Europe. He said to you, I have a Muslim friend, he's nice. They can't lie to you. Here we go. He was saying to me a second ago, I love you, brother. They are the people of Taqiyya. Filthy cult. Who is the father of all lies? The devil. That's what Jesus said. 
and he's right. Why he is allowed to lie? He's proud about it. Why? Because this is the religion of the devil. You see, they make fun of the Buddhists, of the Hindus, of everybody, but you will not find, I assure you, a filthy cult, 100 minus zero of ethic, not only zero ethic, minus like Islam. I don't think you will find a Hindu teaching his followers, you can lie to people. I don't think you will find the Buddhists saying you can lie to other people. Only in the demonic, satanic, cult, garbage of Muhammad. Only. We have the guy, his name is Patrick in the chat. My friend, we finish with the Abdul. Give me your question. The guy whose name is Patrick, he want, he have a question. He was repeating from the beginning. Give me your question. <clears throat> Any, where, where is uh, Patrick? Okay, what's the question? Give me the question. There was a question? It was and it's not exist no more? Uh, Stephen, as long as you are saying from my book, then read what my what my, in my book. Why you are asking me the same what my book is saying? There was a stroke about Bedouin. He was a tooth stick in his butt, and he gave birth. Right? Like, is this true? Yes, this is a true one. We mentioned it just in a few days. Go watch the video before. When you see, as long you know, as long you, uh, uh, if you saw my videos before, always you know save the reference from the videos. Instead of keep coming here and asking the same question, but let me find you the reference. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay, this is the book of Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya. Use Google Translation. This is the link. When you open it, be sure you open the link with Google Browser so you can use Google Translation. This is the book of Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya to Ibn Kathir. Value number 17, page number 469. Uh, and if you go down here, uh, page number 471, the one before it, let's use Google Translation. At the end of the page, you will see that somebody, the, mis the translation is not too good. So he uh, put the siwak, the miswak, he put it in his behind, in his his buttocks. The translation is his outlet. This is his, bu his butt. He put it in his anus. 
And then after he inserted his anus, he took it out. And then uh, after nine months, he gave birth to a son in the manner of rat with four legs and his head like the head of a fish and his butt like the butt of a rabbit. Okay, so now don't ask me the same question again. Uh, well, always, when I say something, I show the reference. Save it, add it to your favorite. You know? <clears throat> Maybe there is someone of you who can open like this so many many web websites for free, like WordPress or many. Maybe you can make an, a website, have reference, only reference, like reference about women, reference about the funny stuff, reference about things, so people can go and read it, you know? You can say a reference from a Christian prince. Make, make a website, feel free, those are for free. But you see, all those things need somebody to do some work, not only me. And I challenge Muslim to put a miswak in their ass and let us see if they want to give birth to a rat. Right? Let us see if this is true. The Muslims, in order to, uh, to escape the torture of the stupidity of their prophet, they try to avoid those stories. As simple as that. <clears throat> Somebody saying why Jesus says he called people you are gods. Well, you know, don't people worship themselves? They are gods, but doesn't mean they are God. That's mean they are false. You are gods. Don't we say money is your God? This person is your God. There's millions of gods, but they are fake gods. Billions, maybe. People who worship themselves, they are God worshippers, but they worship themselves. Do we have any Muslim? I hope we have a good time today. I'm not going to keep you longer. Today is Thanksgiving. Uh, most of American families, they have gathering. And uh, we pray to the Lord that all the world will be thanks, you know, thanking the Lord not only in Thanksgiving Day, and we don't want, you know, like Thanksgiving to be a day in the year. People, they should be thanking the Lord for everything we have and even what for what we don't have. And sometimes, what we don't have is better than what we have. Trust me. Uh, so. I hope that people they will always they will appreciate what they have and what they don't have. People who remember the Lord only when they need him, he will not remember them when they need him. Because they never been with him when they are out of needs. They are selfish. They are gods. They worship themselves. They thought of themselves as gods. But the second they become weak, sick, ill, then suddenly they knew God. Suddenly they pray to God. You will see somebody is an atheist all his life. And now he noticed that he is really left alone. He have no hope. He have no assistant. Spiritually empty. Spiritually dead 
physically is dying too. And then he says, oh, you know what? I need an assistant. Now I'm going to call upon God. Selfish people, they have no place in his heaven. And a human being is a selfish person when he always remember himself. Even when people, they pray, they pray for themselves. The Lord, he taught us that when you pray, speak like this, our Father out of heaven. And they will notice that the most important not only thanks in the thanking the Lord about the bread we have, but forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. So those in Christianity who deserve to be forgiven, who deserve the assistance of God, is the one who forgive others, the one who love others. I forgive this person who cursed me and he called me names. I pray to the Lord to forgive him too. But there is something nobody can forgive you for doing following a false prophet will take you to hell you might commit sin against man and you can be forgiven if the man forgive you but committing sin against God and God did not forgive you you are going to go to hell guaranteed so I want to say thank you all for being here may the Lord bless you and I hope it goes those guys who they live in uh, in uh, Europe they were able to join us today that's why I made my broadcast away earlier, so you can be with us. Until we see you maybe tomorrow, God is willing. We pray to be able to bring more people to Christ. Tell your friends to join us. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your friends about how victorious we are, for we have the truth in our side. And as you see, Always, always we defeat the devil here. He have no place to win. He have no chance. Not because we are smarter than them, but because they have a most obvious false prophet ever. You can imagine. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? The Lord said. Thank you very much. God bless you.